class across the globe in the time of fucking riots, race wars, fucking mass famine, and fucking worldwide spread disease and fucking viruses, and all this madness taking place, we somehow prevailed to think genius thoughts and come up with these sweet ass ideas and I give it up to psychopathic because I'm proud. I'm proud of this shit, man. Proud of this shit. You know the freshest, the best part is too, it, it, is motherfuckers were sleeping on us because when the fucking quarantine hit and the fucking, the, the, the uh, COVID, wait, with the, co the co what is it called? The covert hit. The covert hit. <laughs> the covert 24. <laughs> When that, all that shit hit, it's like, I, I noticed, I'm sure everybody else did, a fucking boom. All of a sudden, everybody's doing fucking concerts online. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's doing DJ sets online. Everybody's fucking, you know what I'm saying, doing mad shit online. But ICP was laying low. You know what I'm saying? No, we weren't. Because we're, well, we're on the surface. We, we were, were literally, underneath, literally days away from Underneath making... the mantle, we were boiling. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's number one on my subject. The whole time. Well, I was leading into the first subject with what I was saying just now. Right, Aha! right. Good segue, my man. Aha! Because I'm going to buy me a segue just to ride around the neighborhood. How you like that? The segue, deal is, motherfuckers. the deal is, it's a true story. It's number one on the fucking list, all right? All well typed out and everything. Fucking, we were actually, this is true. The, the good ideas and the fucking uh, e magnitude of awesome brainwaves were actually taking place before the pandemic epidemic took place. We were actually about to make an announcement literally days before the epic pandemic fucking hit us. Literally days, Rob. Right, no, I remember. <laughs> Literally fucking days. I, I, we were like, we were so shocked. We oh, were God. just about to make this we announcement. We were just shocked. We were and fucking crushed. Right. When so this what? happened, when the fucking, I don't want to sound, I hate to tell this story because I don't want to sound fucking ungrateful. You know, people lost their lives in this motherfucker. People got sick. You know what I'm saying? People have travesties far above and beyond anything we faced. However, from strictly, I don't know how to put it, a, a personal standpoint or something. I don't know, because I know everybody had it worse than us. But, nonetheless, this shit rocked us hard because we fucking came up with some sweet-ass ideas and it all got stripped away with the fucking onslaught of a fucking bitch-ass pandemic. Just a little bitch-ass pandemic. But one of those sweet-ass ideas we had, literally, and we were just... Days away, like two, two days away from announcing to the Juggalo world was we were going to do a concert. This is true. I know they're going to think we're lying. <laughs> I know. There's, there's no, no way they're going to believe this. Doug, there is no question in my mind that I would say at least 98% of motherfuckers watching this are about to be like, Right, they're gonna be like, "That's cool." What else yeah, you sure. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you, motherfuckers, right now, we were just about to announce, okay, a thing because it's it's officially. Am I right, Rudy? It's the uh, 20th anniversary of the Bizarre Bizarre record. Yes. Today is no this, no, year. this year. Oh, I'm about to say fucking today. Wow. The 20th anniversary of the Bizarre Bizarre record. So what we are gonna do was we were gonna offer. The Juggalo World, one of three choices of an ultra bizarre concert. We're going to do an ultra crazy bizarre concert and let the Juggalos of the world vote on which one they wanted to see. And then we were going to stream it, okay, live to the rest of the world. And those three choices that we came up with were this. Knowing which one motherfuckers were going to pick. We knew which one they were going to pick. The choices that we came up with that we we're about to announce was this. We'll either perform a concert in our office. That's right, an ICP concert right in the office at Psychopathic Records. That was choice number one. Number two was we we're going to perform a concert in the recording studio, which is kind of lame. No, nobody's going to pick that. <laughs> right. Let me say though, there was three. We had to come up with three choices. So if there was three choices. We're about to present. Slack over here. The third choice was we'll do a concert in my living room, and I remember having Joey, Rob, Billy, Rudy. They all came over, 
and I showed them exactly how we would do a concert in my living room, okay? And they were like, man, this could actually work. Who the fuck, who the fuck in the world does a concert in their living room? Yeah, let me, yeah. let me, let, 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 I'm gonna let the little, little bit of a cat out of a bag though. The other two options were basically there just, <laughs> just, just to be like, yeah, we're gonna let you pick. We knew motherfucker what they were gonna pick. They didn't you know even pick saying? the other two. We yeah. already did a concert in our warehouse <laughs> at, at the acoustic <laughs> right. show. They didn't know we were that. And then you got the lame ass studio. Who wants right. to see that? Concerts or do you in the studio with the shit? inside of That's fucking... all you do is play music in the studio. <laughs> or do you wanna see what the inside of Violent J's living room Or do you wanna like? see us do a concert <laughs> right. on my couch in the living room, right? right? That was unheard of, unprecedented. And literally, something hit called the fucking pandemic, and we were like, oh, we better hold off on, on our announcement for a few days, right? Next thing you know... We're talking about maybe shutting some shit down. I maybe we should chill you, out. I yeah. swear to you, ninjas, next thing you know, Dave Grohl of the Foo Fighters is playing drums in his fucking living room. Yeah, like, like on across, TV. The, across the, the board. The second everyone, the quarantine hit. Right? Everyone was doing it. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know... Taylor Swift is doing a fucking concert in her kitchen. Alicia yeah. Keys, all these motherfuckers. Everybody is right performing in the fucking living room. And, I, and we're looking at each other like, <laughs> how the fuck could this be? This can't even really be happening to us. I mean, the amount of screaming going on was fucking ear piercing. That was fucking, uh, that dog, I, that... I'm to, actually over it, though, to, now. To, like, Yeah, me too. That was, like, some straight-up, like, fucking Nostradamus shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, <laughs> it's almost right, like, right, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was, like, predicted through what the fuck we were going to do. You right. know what I'm saying? Crazy. We were like, man, we're going to put a concert on in our living room. Everybody's going to be like, man, I got to see that stream. They're all going to buy the stream wondering, what the fuck is this about? You know, they're actually going to do a concert from the living room. We we're going to put out a press release. Remember that? Sing, Everything, we're gonna do a concert in our living room. And then the press would be fuck. like, no, you're not. You know what I mean? Right. And they would come it, it there and be crazy, like, wow, right? they're actually doing a concert in their living room. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, everybody in rock and roll was doing concerts in the living room three weeks later. And, and you know what I'm saying? And it's like we were gonna pack the motherfucker as hard as we could. You right. know what I'm saying? Oh, with yeah. people. I mean, now, you know, say we're trying to be as safe as we but can. But now we got that's social distancing right. and, you know, mask and whatnot and the hand sanitizer. So now we gotta limit it, you know what I'm saying, to be safe as shit, not only for us. What are the chances of that but... fucked up luck, man? Yeah, that was right. fucking insane, yeah. man. I, I, I mean, I know, again, I know the pandemic costed other people a lot well, more it, than it did us. It's still it's still happening, though, right? But it's just it everybody, is, everybody it's is crazy. They special, sold the right? thumb. Like well, you know what? Even, it, even you if know. we would have did, even if we would have did it a year later, everybody would have said, done. everybody would have said, oh, done. you guys are doing right. a concert in the living room, like like yeah. when like COVID nineteen was here, right. Right. like the pandemic. Yeah. That's cool. You know right. what I mean? We don't make everybody think about the fucking pandemic. You know what I mean? Right. Like we missed it. It was like done. Missed. Yeah, you know, you know? I, I still gotta say when we did the the concert at Big Ballers at Psychopathic, that was still yeah, re revolutionary. That was great, but that we, like, but but there was you nobody there. was a step further. Right. Man. I, I know, but that that concert was, was so iconic too. Even saying that, that, that don't that, even sound like a right. big deal now. It and, don't even sound like a big deal saying it because so many artists right. have done and it. And on right top of that, now, on yeah. top of that, it's like that wasn't like a live stream. You know what I'm saying? That was just an event that. How many people we put in, oh, in yeah. there? Like fucking, right. I, I forgot. It was like fucking. It was intimate, but it's still like right. a good number like, of motherfuckers. I think it was like you know? five hundred people. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, still, it was still. You know, it's hard to even fathom how cool that was about to be and unheard of that was about to be. Right. Until it became the thing to do. Yeah. It's so. You know, personal, literally yeah. a month later, it yeah. was the thing to do, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody was doing it, yeah. and it ain't shit. You know? And it's like, it even, it's just so painful to fucking. We were so proud of that idea, man. You know, but what, what we got going on is, is still, like, so special and unique because, you know, even though all these other people did it, nobody's seen a concert at, at your house. Right. You know what I mean? So it doesn't really and, matter. And, and, you know what I mean? And like, the other thing about all that is it's like that's the story of our fucking career. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, we got all this grand shit about to happen. Something comes in, gives us the fucking oh, mega bone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to regroup and then figure it out, and somehow it turns almost into a blessing every time. Because then we figure out a way to do it even bigger than we were gonna do it. You know right. what I'm saying? Well, it's that, called that, that's that's just the entertainment world, though, right? It's called the what? rules like, and laws of Bohica. Yeah, there, <laughs> remember in, in the entertainment yeah. world, you get your heart broke. So many oh, fucking God, times, it's, it's like crazy, yeah. you know, like uh, so uh, many countless times, and, and you gotta fucking rise up and keep going. Uh, you know uh, I mean? Bohica. 
Yeah. Is what it's called. Bend over with, here, it comes with, again. When you keep goes. getting the bone, yeah. like you keep getting screwed over by fate. It's called Bohica, Juggalos. Rob, what does Bohica stand for? Uh, bend over here, it comes again. That's yeah. right. Bend over here, it comes again. <laughs> right. You're getting the Bohica up the butt. And that's what happened to us. But we bounced back, just like somebody said. Who said that? Just a minute ago. You? Both of you guys? Yep. We came back stronger. <laughs> Me. We were fucking beat down and feeble. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> Right? Yeah. No, no. no. <laughs> really? Not right at all. <laughs> Look at all that mascara. <laughs> it's like fucking crazy thing. amount. <laughs> this is mascara that's not wrestling paint. <laughs> <laughs> almost looks like a band I know around the eyes there. All right. Now. What? So get hold, on, hold that book up again. It's got Ultimate Warrior tassels hanging off the bottom of it. <laughs> of course, oh, you got my shit. face. I didn't even catch Yo, that. get the fight to see when he put it back down. Get like his, like his yeah. arm band you know what? Boys hanging off I his can arm. smell the sweat. Oh, oh wow. they're actually from his match. Ultimate yes. Warriors, the real tassels. I had him pull that, the tassels off and argue that, that one for That little detail me. is actually <laughs> level 10 fresh. That's dope as shit. Well, that's not actually the tassels off his arm. That's actually know, his thong. A, it, oh, <laughs> oh, that's the strength. Give me my thong back. Okay. All right, look, let's get into the news. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. <laughs> Excuse me for a moment while I put my age on my face. Okay. Having said that, that was our original plans, but we come back with new and improved plans, and we're proud. Are we not proud, you guys? We're fucking proud. Okay, first let me say this. Here at ICP's House Party Peep Show, you still have two more opportunities to come to my house. And even though when the cameras are on, you'll be watching some sort of awesome event take place, but when the cameras are off, you're welcome into my fridge. You're welcome into my shower. Just don't poop in it. You're welcome at my house. You can spend the night. You can feed the chickens. You're welcome in my house. Basically, make yourself at home. Grab a Snuggie. And let's watch YouTube. But you have two more chances to do that. One of those chances is coming up at, well, we already sold the tickets, right, for uh, the, the, the uh, talk show? Yeah, yeah that's why yeah, it's the on here. There's a, there's, yeah, the talk show. <laughs> there's two things on here, just like we there's just three, there's three different. There's three different things you can... Uh, but the game is too late. Like, the talk show is sold, sold, yeah. sold out. Yeah, so, sold yeah, out. the bonfire, the, the, the bonfire stories in the in the uh, talk show with the old school... It's too late. You can't go to... Right, that them are them are already out. I don't know. Is, it, is the talk show sold out? Okay, so that one's sold out. So, yeah, there's only two more... Two more, Two more chances, Juggalos. Tickets, well, tickets have, to have go not gone on sale. Yeah, yeah, there, tickets have be not up. gone on sale. You can come to the JCW event. Yes, JCW will take place on my front lawn. However, my house is open to you. Have your way with my fucking pillow all you want. Like a horse butt. That's open right. All night long. So we're, we're going to have the house open. Basically, there'll be a bonfire in the back. That's right. Uh, free... when, when we go off the air, we bonfire in the back. Yeah, free barbecue, free, free, free. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that's going down. Who's you fun in this? You fun in the barbecue? I got it, man. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> right, because I ain't you know? Hey, I know this. You can get eight bar ass hot dogs for $1 from Walmart. Yeah. And they're fucking delicious. They but sound delicious. They but are. It, literally, the way the way these events are set up is that it's 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 literally a house party, right? Like, it's a house party. Like, Everybody's just, just gonna like be hanging said. out, chilling, music bumping, house party barbecue pizza. in the back, fire. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, house so, parties you go into? Right, I, I Sounds all fresh. I don't <laughs> want those kind of house parties. Yeah. Um, the other event besides JCW, which is gonna be a full-on awesome wrestling card called Blood. What it? Red Moon Howl. Yeah, is that Red it? Moon Howling. Howling. Yeah. yeah, Red Moon. Featuring Howling. the return of all sorts of JCW greats, Madman Pondo, Two Tough Tony, Sweet Ass Death Matches, High Flying Matches, all sorts of and action and. Commentary by Guido in 3D. Yes, sir. Of, of Stranglemania fame. The other way you can attend my home, and my humble home can be yours, um, with cat piss smell and all, is to come to Hollow Wicked Halloween night right here in, not in this room, but in my fucking living room. It finally goes down. We're going shit. to do it. Yes, and the dopest shit about that right there is because 
The fucking covert couldn't stop us. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, no. Fucking <laughs> pandemic be damned. You know what I'm saying? Fucking Hollow It shut down fucking the gathering. You know what I'm saying? But it's not shutting down fucking Hollow Wicked. But the only bonus is only 50 lucky ninjas get to come to it. You know what I'm saying? 50 ninjas is 50 all? 50 lucky. Get your Fuck. fucking fingers ready quick on them keys because that's Hollow Wicked, man. Those 50, and I'm here to announce the first piece of news. Those 50 ninjas lucky enough to cop a ticket for Hollow Wicked 2020, in this crazy chaotic year, we're all surviving together, right? Those 20, those 50 ninjas will receive, don't think it wasn't gonna happen, they will receive their Hollow Wicked giveaway CD single. That's right, the song, the song is called Live Dead Forever. Okay, so hold on. This is the first I'm hearing of this. Yeah, you get you see it. All right, single. now let, let me let me just let me just get this straight. So are you literally saying there's gonna only be 50 of these CDs yes. in existence in physical, physical form? Copies. However, physical people can physical download copies. the song. Yes. Right. But to get that actual song, we're old school. We believe right. in actually holding that bitch in your hand. Yeah. To get the actual you song. Know, you know, here, here, you gotta here, come here. Here's the thing that I that I really didn't think about until until I was hearing some feedback about Hollow Wicked. There's so many ninjas out there that go to every single Hollow Wicked. That bend, that, that sit there and say, "Yeah, I've been to every I one." Know it sucks, or I've been to the it last sucks. sixteen. But, but you know, yo, and then, what can we do though? Right, yo? I know, but but I didn't even think about that when we put like when, when you know with tickets being on sale. You know what? Because now you, got, it, you are there though. You are there. No, no, watching no okay, it. watching it. Right, okay. You know what though? Mm. I should realize something. What we should have did is included the fucking single in the fucking bag you get. Well, too late right. now. You got to come to get it, guy. <laughs> Damn. Well, I'm saying, yep. it, 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 there's like, only, what? Check it out. <laughs> if there's only 50 Could've, of those... Check it out, though. If there's only 50 of those CDs in existence, that then automatically becomes one of the rarest fucking... Products. It's got to be the rarest that we've ever put out. It's got. There's never yeah, been anything mean? put out, right? Rudy right. is a juggalo historian. Rudy is a, but anything that's had less than 50 copies made of it, besides like a one-off giveaway from you know, which you can't even count as a rare because it's yeah. not even more than one person got it. Like when I we did that song, gave it to the juggalo at the gathering. Yeah, besides like the two EPs that you auctioned off at the gathering, that there was one of. One person owned those. Though. There's there's been nothing like this. It's only limited to, to just fifty. I mean, you think you could probably flip it if you if you wanted to sell it for crazy all money? Right, all right, all right. I'm just saying. Planting ideas, ideas now. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, but <laughs> one ninja's gonna buy all point, fifty tickets. What are we right. for the one ninja? <laughs> just get the fifty. Yeah, 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 rare, it's more rare yeah. than the Echo Side single. <laughs> Remember the Echo Side right, single? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's more rare than Fat Sweaty Buddy cassette. Oh, way more. That, that was that wasn't limited when it came out. It, it was limited because it didn't sell nothing. Well, yeah, <laughs> it was limited. It was nothing. more rare than um, you know everything. I mean, you yeah. can put it all up against it. Nothing is more rare, and that's why. I feel we should have maybe thrown it in the bag that you get with this. No, because, like, no, I, I think that you... But what about all those struggles that have been to everything? They're technically at Hollow Wicked if they got this. That's why everybody gets a coin. <laughs> right. I'm just burying ourselves deeper. I know you are. No, because, like, like I, th I feel like there's still that thing about physically being there, right? You know, they're, they're, it's really important for a lot of ninjas to physically be there at the concert to say they've been to all right, of Right, because you know then you I mean? got somebody just and may, that's, may just be like, eh, let me check out. Still, I don't care. If you've been to all the Hollow Wickets, you're just as fresh if you didn't make it to this word up. It, it, yeah, yeah I mean, come on. This is, ex it, this is like fucking super, what do you I call mean, it, extenuating could, circumstances. Exactly. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, so if you're, you're saying if you, if you got the live streaming service and you're watching Watching it, that's just the same as being there. That's kind of like what you're saying. I feel it is. Okay. Right. I feel it is. That's... And another thing I feel is um, it's just like when we we say we played Detroit on Halloween every night for the last 20 years, right? right. But we haven't. As we haven't. When I broke my collarbone, we didn't play Halloween night. We played like in mid November or something. Right. Right. Okay. But still, I mean, is that little technicality. I mean, there's a fucking pandemic going on. So if you've been to every Halloween and you missed this one because okay, of the pandemic, but if that's true, what you're saying, then 100 percent everybody should get the CD. Put it in the bag because that's what you're saying. Right, it's the same. No, 
You know what I mean? There will so be that, 50 printed. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> open to debate. If you come, but, you get Hey, to me, that's that just makes it all that way, more special the to way, everyone, you know? The way I look What's at it. What's the chat room thing? Check it What's out. It? I want to know what the chat room thing. The way I'm well, looking you know, at they're it. they're going to think. The way, <laughs> no, seriously. The way I'm looking at it, though, those ninjas that are coming in person to that concert, they're probably going to be forking over a, a, a ton of cash. So soon as they get some additional benefit that they nobody else They can sell that cassette and make all their money back. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Sell not, that not CD. Not if you give it to everybody. Think about it, man. If you not pay, if you give it to everybody, you can't. If you pay a thousand dollars for a Halloween ticket, right? But what you he's can say, float wait, that what, motherfucker on eBay. What he's saying make though, twice your money. What back. he's saying though, they should have some kind of benefit. That's what you I'm know saying. what I'm saying? Instead of just giving it to everybody, what's the benefit to? Yeah, because you, know, you know, you know those when those tickets go up for auction. Man, they have the gonna, benefit of the experience. I understand. That's all we got in life, man. You can't take nothing with you. You got the experience. Man, so what is more no important? You come and you fucking sell it. <laughs> well, well, let's get deep for a minute. Let's get deep like the okay. fucking abyss. All right. What is more important than experiences? Think about it. Memories. Oh, uh, nothing. Experiences. Yeah. You can't take nothing with you. I don't give a fuck right. if you train your whole life to be in the Olympics and you got that little fucking medal. Yeah. That medal ain't shit compared to the experience of winning that medal. Right. Fuck the medal. You're right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, that metal is there to remind you of that experience. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but, a, but it's like, a, it's like a token, a serial killer thing to remind him of murdering right. somebody. That's why whenever somebody tells you, hey, man, you want to come with me to this deal? Man, it's crazy as fuck. You know, it's going to be outrageous. Some shit we'll never forget. No, nah, I got to work, man. Yeah, you know, that. you're a fool. You're a fool. Because <laughs> you could have had a memory you'll never forget. Yeah. That's all life is about is right. experiences. Or you could do the responsible thing. And go to work and have a day you're gonna forget next week. Look, I'm I'm gonna tell you like this: it's never the right time for so many people. It's never the, it's never gonna be the right time. Right. So you just gotta do it. If an opportunity comes up, you know, some of your friends are going to Hawaii or whatever the fuck. You really want to go? You don't have the time. You don't have the fucking money. Right. Sometimes you just gotta be like, gotta fuck it. Figure it out. That's man. what that, that's what that, it, man. that's what the chaos theory is all about. Just fuck it and go. Man, you know I, I mean? wish all. Fucking juggalos would take our advice on that. And you know what yeah. hurts is when, when when juggalos come up and say, and there's so many that do, and it sucks. It I breaks know where my you're heart. Going. Yeah, you know where I'm going. Oh, duh. And it, it's like motherfuckers that'll be like 40. Right. 40, you know 45 years well, old. Go, go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm jumping again. Man, Jay, uh, and, and I've said this before, and, and it actually got controversy. All right? It got uh, controversy. I know what you're about to say. Yeah, I'm going to say it again because I, I, I stand by it. I stand by it too, right. man. I agree um, with it too. Juggalos are like, Man, I've been wanting to go to the gathering my whole life, man. You know, it, and you're like, how old are you, dude? 47, man. I've been wanting to go my whole fucking life. And you're thinking, this motherfucking <laughs> gathering ain't on Pluto. I know, you know what I mean? And this this, this is in Indiana. Right, yeah. And this will be a meet and greet in like fucking, in like, like fucking Kentucky or something. Like right. fucking six hours away from it, not even. You know and I'm you're saying? like, your whole life? Right. You can put the change out of your pocket in a peanut butter jar yeah, every that, night that, that's and have enough yeah. by December. I've seen a, a documentary about the gathering and, and the guy was like, all he does is, is put all his spare change in a jar right. and then when it comes to gathering time, he like takes it to the bank, exchanges it and he's got crazy enough money to go to the gathering. And, and you know... And Somebody the, says they've been wanting to go to the gathering their whole life and they don't, knowing... They're they're keeping themselves back. That's, right? That's they're they're wor overstanding no, there's, yeah, there's nothing else holding you back except for them. You know I don't I mean? give a fuck how many kids you got, right. how broke you are. I don't give a fuck what you got as a job. And With a year's notice? And, 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 even if you can't do it in a year, plan it for two years. Right. And two years ago. A going, year's notice? I can find a babysitter in two years. You can't find a babysitter for in a year's advance? Right. You can find Mary Poppins in a month. Yeah. I mean, what the fuck, man? And like, you're, you're talking about, too, you're talking about, like, the Juggalo family. You know, everybody comes together. You can get a ride from some other ninja. Right. You, know you know actually I mean? sit down and like, do some investigating. Yeah. You know, you, you ain't gonna have to spend you, shit. You can really, sleep you know? in a tent right. with another ninja. Right. Like, your cost can be almost non-existent. You know what I mean? Right. And, if that's and, been and your we've, dream. We've so. stressed that so much right. about pulling tactics. You right. know what I mean? When we were kids going down to watch wrestling, tactics. tactics. We'd be front row, no oh, fucking yeah, money, huh? no right. ride, no nothing. And, and, and you and know what? You, just you, pull tactics. And you know, you know what uh, ninjas say? They say um, some ninjas say, 
man, that's fucked up what you guys were saying, man. You know, people got responsibility and shit, man. We ain't got the money for the gathering, you know. Be uh, two you know, <laughs> or you're just trying to sell a ticket, you know what I'm saying? Fuck the gathering. Forget the gathering. Yeah. Forget the gathering. Yeah, go ahead. What have you always wanted to go? How the fuck can you not get there? Right. That, that, that's, you know what I mean? That's right, the yeah. thing. Yeah, not, not. It's not about the gathering. It's like, Whatever you want to do. Do you want to be there? Like, is this is, is this is a dream true? of your? You really whatever, dreamed it your whole Whatever life. your dream is, if it's that attainable, if it's that attainable, if you can't pull it you're off. You're the only one holding you back. That's it. Right. If, if 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 your dream in life is to get to the gathering and you're never able to obtain it, then who? What kind of fucking job do you have? You don't know right, say where. Like, yeah. what was your dream job and what are you doing now? Man, I got obviously. Kids. You ain't doing your fucking dream job if getting the fucking to the gathering is too difficult. Man, I'm married, man. I got kids. I can't <laughs> right. go to work. What, your family don't want you to be happy? They don't <laughs> want you to have one weekend to eat for you? Right. You know what I'm saying? What about you? If one mother? year from now? You looking out right. for everybody else. What about looking out for you? You know what I'm saying? One weekend now, to have a memory you'll never forget. Now, if, you're, if your dream was to, like, say, to go to the moon, obviously... It's you know, a bit difficult. You, you could debate that. That, but that would be a lot it. more difficult... Oh, of course, yeah. But I'm just saying. If that was my dream, I'd still be on the roof with a grappling hook. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying, if it's that easy to obtain, you're the. I, and, and, and we could debate this all night, so maybe we should move on. But you're the one holding yourself back. Right. Yeah. You're the only one holding I don't know yourself what you're back. With everybody in here agrees and, with and, you. And it, you come, it comes down to the laws of attraction. You know what I mean? People defeat themselves in their minds. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and, and it don't matter. Like, like you said, what it is, it could be a, another dream or somewhere else you want to go in life. If you haven't been there yet. Like you said you want to go yeah. away or your homies. Yeah. Like, oh, no. Right. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and um, anybody that's mad about what we're saying, you're just mad because we're calling you out. Right. Right. You know you're, what I'm saying? You're mad because right. you're stale. We put you on front street. You're mad at yourself, yeah. man. Because you're, right. right. you're like, damn, they're right. Now you're mad. You know what I mean? You know, and regret is a motherfucker to carry, carry the rest Fuck of your regret, life. Man. You regret, man. You regret not going. That's a fucking Just waste. don't don't regret Just wasting go. all your time up till now. Just, Just stop go. wasting it. Just go. Right. There's, there's, Just still, go. there's still opportunity. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Life ain't over. And again, it's ain't about the fucking gathering. It's whatever really about, you want to do. It's really about life, Whatever right? you want to do. <laughs> whatever the fuck yeah, you want right. to go. Yeah. Wherever you, whatever you want to go. If you're into fucking UFOs and you've always dreamed about going to Area 51, what the fuck you waiting on? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, all right. Having said that, and no doubt schooled a couple lives. <laughs> Hopefully for the better. Probably for the better, exactly. Hopefully. Um, so, those are the last two chances. Hollow Wicked. And, uh, yeah, JCW on October 17th and uh, Hollow Wicked, of course, on the 31st. Word up. You know what I'm saying? Now, ladies and gentlemen, Hold let it. Real quick, just because I know ninjas are curious, have we come to a decision on the CD or we're going to Yeah, 50 oh, lucky people get no, it. No, we want to know. What, are they saying 50 anything? lucky people get it, man. What are you out of your brains? That's the, no. <laughs> it, it, it keeps going back and forth. All right, not us, though. We're like 50 yeah. people get it. What are they it, saying? So what kind of comments? I, I, I'm going to be the bad guy because I really, or, or possibly the good guy for some, but I really feel like you you physically have to yeah, be I'll there both, so to we're, get we're the fucking bad guy CD. Tag team. And it's That's not even a money thing. That's honestly how I feel. Fucking juggle. What would you what would you say, Juggalo historian? Uh, I say they should have to be here to get the CD. Yeah, that's coming and, from and, a fucking the ninjas, super juggalo. My vote. The that's, that's not being. That's that's Man, not, there's only fifty out. allowed that, in them. That check right there out. is a non-selfish fucking like like a uh, fucking. He's call. only saying that because he knows he's gonna Look, be here. Yeah, but he ain't getting one. He's an employee. We only got fifty of them. This is uh, by the way, this is the weirdest ICP seminar I've ever been to because we're like they're literally discussing shit on the fly. But I, I'm just everything's <laughs> <laughs> undecided. <laughs> I mean, this is what happens. This is what it looks right. like at psychopathic. Right. This, this is what it looks These like are before the we go off at a seminar. At the <laughs> but you know what I mean? We talk, this is how we really talk yeah, about shit right here. And, and this but is like, fucking quiet right now. You know what I'm saying? This is very quiet and very fucking tame. But look, I'm telling you, give ninjas that are going to... If people are really stressing the money that they're going to have to pay to come to the How Wicked... Give them a chance if they want to get some of that back by being able to sell that CD later. On you know top of that, mean? everybody's going to hear it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're, you're gonna hear it. Still, you're you physically there. It. Yes. And, and, and well, me, fifty lucky ninjas do. <laughs> me personally, I feel like yes. If you've seen the, the streaming, you watch Hollywood is streaming. You were quasi there. Yeah, you know? you're, you, you you paid this. We're giving yeah. you the coin for the fucking ultra live monster. Right, I got it. Right. But there is a difference between that. In my opinion, and right. physically being there. Because Ultra Live Monster 5 is all of this month. But this how the whole fuck event, you get what I'm Halloween saying, though, Rob? All these people that 
go to every gathering, they, it's impossible because there's only 50 allowed. So mad people are getting shut out. Yeah. Right. I mean, they go to Hollow Wicked every year. There's people, it's physically impossible to fit them all in. These, so we're hoeing a majority. The only no, thing man. I got to say about that is these are strange times. Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, shit is like, normal right shit now. Shit is out of our hands right. at this point, literally. Yeah. Like, sure like it's not like we can make the choice. Like, if we yeah, can exactly. can make the choice. Uh, here, hey, yeah, here everybody. You are you guys ready for it? Are you ready for it? Yeah. Okay. Whoever subscribed does get a CD in their bag of the Hollow Wicked song. But the 50 that come here get this sweet ass fucking e extra rare cover to it to symbolize <laughs> that they were here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, so a special, a special cover that's different. Right. Than everybody that's else. That's the real boy if you were here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> everybody else just gets a burnt copy. Everybody with some gets one on of those <laughs> black sleeves you just stick Right, or like one of those CDs you can look up. When you come here, you get the jiggy picture. Right, one of those CDs you can see through. You know what I'm saying? I can put it up and just see you talking through it. <laughs> you get one of those bad boys. All right, so any any comments? It may or may not play. Yeah, it's back and forth. It's yeah, back it, and it forth. Keeps okay. Going back all right, and forth. all right, all right. Well, let's move three on. out of four ninjas right here just said uh, you got to be here. So all right, let's move on. Let's move on. All I'm, right, all right. I'm gonna say we're gonna move on, but I'm gonna say probably more than likely it's gonna be you have to be there to yeah. get the seat. No, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's gonna. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it's pretty much otherwise. Like that. yeah, that's that's, that's, that's a choice we made. We gotta stick to it. You know what I mean? Well. Uh, actually, the let's this, move on, man. This, okay, fuck come it. on, man. Because we, we can, always all said, talking about yeah, it. we always said you got to be there to get it. That that yeah. rule. Has and everybody, to stay. everybody here, uh, everybody watching at home right now, that's another big problem about psychopathic is we fucking care too much. We yeah. sit here and debate for hours on end without getting to conclusion. And it's impossible to make it without out. getting to conclusion exactly what we we want to do. Like, should we just fit yeah. here? Should we give it away? We want to give people. It's always. Somebody getting the bone no matter what decision and or choice we make. I want to go. And so just know that it's very fucking difficult making any decision. You I want to go on the record to say that if we weren't on camera right now, this would probably be at least three hours longer. No you know, just talking these about these it. We only air. scratch the surface in this conversation. Right. Exactly. In, this, in, the, in this kind of situation. This would be a three-day meeting right it's, here. It's Easy. impossible. There's going to be, ninjas are going to be heated no matter what. No matter you which way I mean? we go, you're going to piss somebody and off. And that's, that's unfortunately a lot of what we do. Right. And I'm so glad, I'm glad we're doing this. I have an opportunity to say that because it's true. No matter what decision we make or what the fuck we do, mm -hmm. there's going to be people that aren't happy with it. You know but, what I'm saying? you know what? Somebody's Let's getting get on to no some what. shit where the decision is yes, made. Yes, exactly. And we all agree on it. That all everybody's going to get the benefit for it. That was the only controversial thing on this fucking list. We'll see. All right? All right, let's go. And it wasn't even on the list. It just dawned on us. I, I, I want to see what new, sh what additional okay. new shit. You want to know new shit? You, you, you want to know what's new? Okay. <laughs> yeah, what Everybody was like, "Why is ICP not doing nothing since the COVID hit?" Right. Right. Wrong. We got a brand new album coming out. Yep. Out of nowhere, bitch. Ha ha, motherfuckers. Are you, are you dicks out there? Why it's coming you, out out, out of you? nowhere. We've been recording this whole time, and. One week from today, one week from today, at the fucking Oddcast podcast, right? About what? About lurking into the, dr whatever Rob wrote, wretches of evil. Descent into the abyss of evil. <laughs> Descent into the abyss of evil. <laughs> That's a sweet ass right? title, by it the way. It is. We're going to awesome. debut the first single. That's right. The first single comes out in one week. Oh, do you guys want to do a personal question or what? What the fuck? I oh, just announced yeah, a fucking new shit. Personal oh, question time, man. though. <laughs> we can wait till afterwards. I mean, we can. We personal can hold question. On. We should have never fucking brought I, that up. Hey, <laughs> we can do. We can do. I said my love. We don't have to do it. I'm, I just did what we uh, discussed it's before. It stole all the heat from our announcement. We I just know, got a new album let's, coming out. Let's I'm roll on. I was just. You know, you know what we can do said, that's is, all. is when we go to break and come back, maybe that would be a good time to do it. Like, kick it off with a personal question. All right, but let me know. get I'm, the facts I don't think we have time for no personal all right, questions, let's just dog. roll on. Let me get right, the hold facts. On. I, I, I want to say we're, this. We're at fucking number two. Uh, at some, we're still on this. At some point, this game is coming into effect. <laughs> not, maybe not tonight. Extreme personal questions. How about we do it at JCW with all the wrestlers? All right, let's <laughs> make great. that one extra long. All right, let's go. All right, listen, man. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Oh, shit. Don't, and don't make a comment on the paint on the inside of my glass. Can't do nothing about it. 
I was using. Uh, you that. know, you get the same paint on your glasses. I, I don't wear my glasses when I got paint, so I don't fuck my paint up. <laughs> you don't have any lenses in your glasses. You just wear the frames to look cool. <laughs> right. I mean, Joe, I Joe you look your handsome. eyes look so big from here. It's like it's what are you like, talking about? It's like bubbles. You look like bubbles. It's like he's wearing you. reading glasses for normal fucking glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like oh, like how thick are those lenses? Like honestly, like thick. A, <laughs> like an inch. Thick. All right, listen. Uh, Hear me out, man. The first single off the brand new album, which is the fifth Joker's card of deck two. And we're going to give you the name of that Joker's card tonight. And we're going to show that Joker's card Halloween night. Yeah. Three weeks. Woo! But we're going to give you the we're name about that. tonight yeah, that at awesome. this fucking seminar. The first single off that album is called Ding Ding Down. That's right. Ding Ding Down. The first single, and there's a matter of fucking factuation. If Ryan's ready, we're about to fucking premiere 45 hot seconds of that bitch right now. Pipe it. Everybody shut the fuck up. Clear the wax out of your fucking ear holes. Give us your eardrums undivided attention and peep the technique. Bitch. Of course, like it's not safe. Fuck it. I'm kidding. I feel the cloth that wraps all across my face. It goes all around my body, tight, tight with lace. I'm packaged in darkness, but in what am I encased? Is it a coffin or a gift box in which I'm placed? Just then, swiftly, I feel myself lift and hear the voice of my owner. I'm opening this shit. What kid would want to play with a ding ding top? Featuring the human hair of an actual dead child. I'm sure. <laughs> One thing's known, he found me on the dark web and shipped me home. I'm hexed with the rare type of ancient Ecuadorian witchcraft on a dead kid's bed. Pete the technique. All right. Ding ding dong. Ding ding dong. All right, the song, the first single off the new album, the fifth Joker's card, Deck Deuce, right? The first single will be available one week from tonight on all digital platforms, all right? And the lyric video, a, a cheaply made lyric video, will be released next week on YouTube just in case Hearing doesn't stimulate your senses enough. You want to see something as well? How about seeing the words, nerds? Because it's coming out in one week. And now I'm going to bless you and even go as far as to tell you what the song's about. The song? <laughs> I'm all looking at notes. It's like, oh, okay. Oh, wait a second. It says number four and number four. The song is about 45 seconds. You figure it out. The song is about a young boy who goes on the dark web and he sees a doll for sale that's supposedly cursed, right? Quit talking out there. He sees a doll for sale from Ecuador and he orders the doll thinking for sure it's fake, right? Robbie, you getting scared? Yes. Yes. <laughs> he thinks the doll is fake. The doll shows up. And the song kicks on right when the doll shows up at his doorstep. The song begins, and you hear the rap coming from the doll's perspective. The doll that is cursed, right? Perspective. It's dope. Perspective, guys. I'm not going to give away what happens. Did they hear the chorus? I don't know what they heard. Okay. I love the chorus. There are 45 the seconds of it. Yeah. Well, the song is a little bit over three minutes. Like four minutes, and yeah, chances did, are did probably. I hope they heard the chorus too. I like the chorus too. Yeah. Did they hear the chorus? Or no? The producer of that song right, anyway. was my fucking homie, not Shaggy Too Dope, a no. different Shaggy, oh, oh, oh. Shaggy the Airhead. That's right, two Shaggies involved with us. A, a new now. producer, yeah. young young man, outstanding producer. You may also know him from his clothing line, Lazy and Crazy. He is right. He does have a, his own clothing line, yeah. Lazy and Crazy. Now, I, I just would like to say something right quick, though, about. About the whole uh, uh, ordeal, like you were, we were talking about, motherfuckers just thought that we weren't doing shit, sitting on our asses the whole time. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, man, we we we've been working our fucking balls off. You know what I'm saying? 
It's just that we're still old school. You know what I'm saying? We come out with albums. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, motherfuckers be dropping singles like every fucking three weeks or some shit. You know what I'm saying? But us, sorry, man. That's just our format. That's what we're stuck doing because that's how we believe it still should be. We believe in records, full-on fucking albums. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we've been doing is making a whole record, not just dropping singles every couple weeks during the quarantine. We also do that. But we do do that, but not as official. Now, we haven't been doing that. You know what I'm saying? Because we've been working on a record. When we're not working on a record, we're more apt to do that. You know I want to I want to tell you our philosophy, my philosophy, our philosophy on that. What you talked about? Yeah. Here's a, here's a, here's ICP's philosophy on. Man, you want that fucking product? Oh, you know of course, of course. You want that fucking hold in your hand? Crack the cellophane, smell the plastic, like fucking smells like pizza. So fucking delicious. Look, you want to hold it and touch it. You don't want to just have it floating around. You want a product. Solid mass. And, um, but here's how we feel about time and changing of music, right? Do we want our shit to sound exactly like it did in the early 90s, in 2020, right? No. We like to have a mixture of early 90s and today's sound. We don't lean all the way into one or the other. We're not going to lean all the way into committed to try to make our shit sound old or... We're not trying to keep up with all the trends and sounds of today. It's sort of like who we are, right? A mixture of them both. It's, it's, We're from the back in the day, right? but we also like some of the shit coming out today. And it, it is like we've already made records that sound like back in the day. You right. can go pick them up right now. We have a fucking ton of them. You know That's why we don't want to sound like the Riddlebox album. Because we already got an album that and sounds like Riddlebox. That, it's called Riddlebox. Right. And on top of that, as artists, you you like to grow. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to do the same fucking thing. You want to experiment, try new shit. You want to expand your fucking creativity. You know what I'm saying? You don't just want to do fucking pastel drawings your whole life. You want to fucking break out some oil paintings and some acrylic and shit. You know what I'm saying? This, this, you don't just want to be stuck in one fucking lane. You know what I'm saying? As an artist. You know what I'm saying? You want to fucking... Spread your roots into the floor. Try different dirt out. You know what I'm saying? Different textures and, and shit. And, and that's what we said at the ICB seminar for the last two years at right. the gathering. Yeah, we said always got people new like, endeavors. Oh! New endeavors is what we're about. Mm-hmm. New experiences. We want to do new things we've never done. We want to leave our legacy, man. Right. We, we got. Want, we you want an annual shits? We got you covered. You know what I'm saying? We don't want just we come got to annual town. shits out the ass. We don't want to just come to town and do the old shit all the time. Right. And just be about nostalgia. We're still leaving our legacy, man. We're trying to do new shit and, and, and shit that 20 years from now, you'll look back and be like, why don't they do some shit like that? Like, like it did in 2020, you know what man. I'm saying? We're not just say, oh, we're here to represent back in the day. Fuck that. We're here to represent the future. You know what I'm saying? And uh, new endeavors, and you're about to find out, we're all over new endeavors. Anyway, one week from today, the uh, lyric video comes out on YouTube. I wanted to say something real quick. Uh, sh- the Shaggy the Airhead. How, how old is that ninja? I'm not sure. I think like 26 or something. I was gonna say he's he's a young ninja, and I can almost guarantee you, and not not to slight him, but he did not know anything about ICP before he came up with his name, Shaggy the Airhead. That's all. That's oh, all I'm saying. I don't know, but he's definitely no, knows you, about you it. You want to know definitely... fucking how old my <laughs> shit? I I didn't know. There's a fucking Shaggy reggae rapper guy. You know what I'm saying? It's a reggae right, guy. Okay. There's me. You know what I'm saying? Why do we have that picture of you and Shaggy together? That's I don't dope. know. We, we should pull that up. <laughs> there is a photo I know, of Shaggy we were, with well, Shaggy. Yes, we were doing the George Lopez show, dressed up like chips, doing a little bit that they had going and whatnot. And he was performing that night, so they didn't have us in the same dress room, but we were just like, yo, we can't pass this opportunity up. I got to get a fucking picture with another ninja named Shaggy. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? The only other fresher guy would have been Casey Kasem, who does Shaggy from Scooby-Doo's voice. Right, know? yeah. Duh, which, by the way, how awesome is that? We're officially part of Scooby-Doo canon. Do you realize that? We're a part of Scooby-Doo's world. Juggalos are. Like, what you In mean? the world of Scooby-Doo, yeah. that universe... Yeah. Juggalos are a part of that universe now. Uh-huh. We're in the fucking new movie. Juggalos are. There's two Juggalos in the fucking. You guys don't know about this? No. You guys, I should fucking <laughs> slap both you right now. <laughs> what? You guys don't know about this new Scooby Doo movie that came out? When did it come out? They're trick or treating, and two Juggalos are circling on skateboards like ah jerk oh, ah, and steal their right. candy bags and take off on their skateboards. <laughs> and of course, they're assholes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they're not gonna be upstanding citizens. You know what I'm saying? Right. And they grab their fucking bags and they throw them into a haunted house. 
You know what I'm saying? But juggalos are the, f- you know, of course, Rudy knew. Can you believe they don't know about this shit? No. That shit was all over the place. Excuse me for missing the new Scooby Doo. <laughs> Yo, it was on every fucking juggalo thing possible. Motherfuckers were bugging, dog. <laughs> Get with it. I don't know. Any, any, anyhow, I, so, I don't know anyhow. So you guys you just don't think that's fresh? We're part of Scooby Doo's universe. I mean, there's Ooh, so right. so many countless. <laughs> there, you. There's so many countless things I've seen in television and movies right, and stuff that make too cool for references. school. I'm All just right, saying, let's move on. it would be cool to I make. I think it's fucking one of the dopest. Things I hope ever. I hope somebody makes a montage of all the different references, like on one clip, you know, yeah. just pop, 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 pop. But that was know? just a reference, and that's what I'm just yeah. saying. It's so fucking awesome that Juggalos are actually. Officially in Scooby Doo's universe. Get off Scooby Doo's dick. I'm not on their dick. <laughs> Get no, off Scooby's with, shaggy with ass fucking, dick. We're fucking with the Harlem Globetrotters with Phyllis Diller. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Remember the Scooby Doo movies back in the like, day? Like you listen with the three Stooges. With the three Stooges, Batman yeah, three and Robin. Stooges, fucking who are all those other fucking like ninjas back in the day for the Scooby Doo movies? <laughs> Get the motherfucking no, mystery. You got me totally lost, right, Joey. I'm sorry. The Bruce Brothers are officially fucking. I'm, I'm I've never been a Mark. Suck. I've that never. I've never been a Mark for Scooby Doo. Uh, well, good. Scooby Doo's not a Mark for you neither. Right? I was all about Bugs Bunny and fucking Looney Tunes. Of course, man. we're not <laughs> playing Scooby Doo shit. <laughs> Same thing as you Maze Mesley kids or whatever. All right, listen. Too cool for school. I'm, that's too fucking cool. Way too cool for that. Way too cool for that school. All right. On to other news. Do you like documentaries? I got one about Scooby Doo coming up. Good, because we've got one for you to <laughs> enjoy. Knowledge to your brain. Feed knowledge to your brain, mass spoonfuls. Because coming soon in the year 2021, it's almost the end of 20, right? 2020. Well, we're in October, so. Yeah, it's, it's not going to say it's the coming month out is 2021. 10. Coming up, yeah. No, it's, uh, there are some people, one of their names is Brenna Sanchez. And one of their names is Tom Putnam, and they have been checking in with us, coming around to Juggalo events and interviewing me and Shaggy for the last five years. And a whole host of other ninjas too have been interviewing. Yeah. Yeah. Five, five like King years. Kong Bunny used to say, five. That's half of a fucking, that's half of a decade. That's a long yes. time. They've been like working that. on this documentary for a grip. Yes. All right. Well, it's finally done. They just finished shooting the last interview with us probably a month ago, and the fucking documentary is coming out, and here's the, here's the premises of it. First of all, the documentary is called The United States of Insanity, and the documentary is primarily about the FBI's gang labeling of Juggalos as a gang, and it tells the whole story in depth, how it came to be, it interviews juggalos all over the country affected by the gang shit. And it chronicles that piece of history. That ludicrous piece of history is, is chronicled and documented forever in a documentary done by Brennan Sanchez and Tom Putnam. And it's coming out in 21. All right, we can't guarantee that. It's not our fucking thing. But tentatively. It's not our project. Tentative. We have, we, yeah, we didn't edit it. We didn't shoot it. Is their project, you know what I'm saying, 100%. So we cannot say for sure, but tentatively, it's slated for 2021. That's right. But the, the, the rough copy we saw was pretty damn fucking good, man. I thought, I thought it was some really good points. That, you yeah. Know, like a re- really solid parts. So Hopefully, they don't, they don't switch it up and sabotage us. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? But it's pretty damn good right now. We stand by it. All right? United States of Insanity, the documentary is coming out. It's like a two-hour documentary. It's really good, man. Pretty good. And it, 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 it'll tell you some shit about the gang label you, you had no idea right. about. Hey, the, the, that book, Juggalo, is out about, uh, d- details the whole fucking gang labeling shit from beginning to whenever the fuck it came out. You know what I'm saying? But this 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 isn't a... Well, obviously, motherfuckers don't be reading. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't be reading. So if you're not interested in reading that and figure out what happened, this documentary will be there for you to answer your questions and, and, and shit. You know what's but cool? the book's a great read, man. If you really want to know... What kind of fucking snake shit happened with that? It's fucking insane, man. You know what's cool about it, too, is because I, I consider the march to be the, the greatest moment 
in all of juggle history to me. Oh, you know I mean? No question, dog. And, 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 and it really, right it really captures like every element of it. You know? I'm they talk I to can't the, even think about it without crying. They dog. talk to the lawyers. They talk to juggalo crews. You know, they they talk to juggalo families. They you know they cover everything. They talk to you guys. They talk to us. You know what I mean? And it just Man, captures I, that whole moment in time. Is just captured beautifully in this uh, masterfully done the, film. The amount of fucking fear we fucking dealt with that entire year. The, there is no ticket sold for the march. We had no idea Man. if anybody was coming at we all. We After we there, booked it, nobody. we yeah. found out uh, hotels in D.C. are fucking insanely high. Yo, all the fucking concert the prices. places were like, nope, can't have a show here. Can't have a show here. Mm -hmm. Got blackballed out of fucking venues. <laughs> Every <laughs> fucking venue we insane. asked to play it, with the exception of like three or four that it can only help. But we still love those bands for agreeing to do it. But everybody that could bring significant attention to the march said no. Yeah. Nobody wanted to do that. After, after a year advance being told it was going down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A year in advance, we started One day we asked that for March. All year, we had no idea if anybody was coming. And it was so stressful. We were doing so much press in New York. Three days were the press. Night and day, we're doing press. Every fucking Time magazine. Yeah, everything. 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 Yeah. Every kind of press you can do. We're doing press, and we have no idea... If we're setting ourselves up for utter chaos, chaotic right. embarrassment. And then somehow, though, getting blackballed out of all the fucking uh, uh, venues around D.C., even the suburbs, everything, man, uh, ended up being a benefit because we got to do our fucking show right there in front of that big-ass fucking pool thing that Martin Luther King gave a speech I mean, at, I, that Forrest Gump was at. You know what I'm right. saying? I feel like when the, when the ICP movie comes out, if that's not the ending, right. that's going to be a pivotal moment. What they say, like two other movie. people, like you guys performing right at that spot. Right. They say, like, the two, two other people have done a show there. One was like Bob Dylan. Right. And one was some other super ninja and, like that. And you know what I'm saying? Fago, you know what right. I mean? And throwing Fago, Kurt, like, they were like, and they you can't, told us, you can't, you can't curse. curse. And we we're like, we're no, like, no problem. Fuck we got that. Out there. We did fuck the world. We didn't fucking restrict <laughs> ourselves one bit from saying it, anything. It, it, the march. Was and, made and, and, historical yeah. by the Juggalos, hands down. There's just yeah. no fucking with Juggalos, period. And if y'all, yeah. if y'all were there, like, like it, it was, you know, enough said, man. You know, you know what it was. You know it the feeling like, going the on. The feeling, like everybody you know what I'm was just right. touched. Everybody, it's the only word I can use. Everybody yeah. was emotionally and, and, touched. You know what? Right. It's, yeah. The crazy part is, at least for me, I don't know if this happens to you guys, but like. When we're doing like any kind of like meet meet and greets or anything like that, or just like on the streets, whatever, you know what I'm saying? If we're out of town or even in town, somebody comes up, you're like, "Yo, man, I was at the march." Instantly, when that comes out their mouth, you know. I feel an extra fucking connection to right. it, right. like yeah, that. Yeah, you know what right. I'm saying? Just, yo, I was at the march. Don't even say no more. You don't need right. to. Yeah, you right, know what I'm yeah. saying? We're like already right here, right. Like, right. already right. like this with juggles, but with motherfuckers that went to the march, right. it's like right here. You know, in, like in the amount same of brain. people, what really fucking touched me right on my fucking genitals was the amount of people that were there that weren't juggalos. Yeah. That were there because they knew what was happening was bullshit. Yeah, straight and up. And they just came out. And how, how wonderful was it that the whole, literally the whole world had our backs. Right. Yeah. They there was like, like, all right, they, they had to give it up. They were like, that is some fucking The only people shit. that, don't every press you know we mean? did, they said that. The right. only They're small like, amount right. of fucking haters there were were basically people that turned us down doing this shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, they're doing it for publicity and yeah. this and that. Of course we were. What the fuck? We're trying to March bring March. light to the situation. Yeah. It was the biggest publicity thing ever to try to get all what eyes on that. For? You march to fucking make noise. Right. It's publicity. You right. Know, you march to get cars. Right. Like, blow up a fucking... Get attention zoned in on what the fuck is going down, you know? Anybody talking shit about the march, hold themselves. Man. Anybody that, right. that talks shit is talking shit or future talk shit ain't about shit because there was, there was nothing but positive. There was nothing but great for the Juggalos and the Juggalo community and just in general. So if somebody was to hate on that dog, that's exactly what they are. They're just single, single to, to the soul, to the core, a fucking life. hater. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, and it really was... Uh, uh, a living embodiment, if you will, of the power of the Juggalo family. Yeah, word up, dog. Like, you know what I mean? Unified all together right. for one purpose, one cause, and schooling it that fucking hard, man. It yeah, was just shit was awesome. dope. And literally hand-in-hand -hand walking 
through the streets. Literally. You know what right, I'm saying? Yeah. Literally. Like, you know, it's just. There it was, was there was so like fresh, the, the greatest part. There was, I, I just we didn't have security and shit. Yeah. I was walk. I walked around the wall. How long was that? Like two miles long. That walk. Yeah. Now yeah. the whole time I was just like constantly just surrounded by different barrage of juggalos. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right, it was fucking yeah, yeah. great. Dog. No security. You didn't fucking need it. No. You know? Now, nobody was fucking. Arrest. Nobody was trying to scrap. Nobody was hound dogging. Right. Nobody was yeah. No no arrest. Nobody was fucking belligerent drunk. Nobody was smoking. Everybody was looking at that like from you know from the outside like. Oh man! Everybody there was shit's about to get tagged up. Everybody's gonna be all fucking party and all that. No, we were there for business, and everybody, every juggler showed up was there for business too, and we fucking showed and proved, man. You know what I'm saying? And and that's why I love this documentary because it documents it all with footage. Yeah, it it captures. Yeah, it captures that moment in time. You know what I mean? It's like you can. It, you know, especially if you were there or not, like it, it, it just captures it. It, it shows can, juggalos can come crawling out the underground mm. and assemble for war when we need to. Right. Sure, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 ain't, we ain't got no enemies right now to war with. Yeah. But when pushed and provoked, mm-hmm. we will fucking gather in mass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's and, what's and, up. And, and, <laughs> and stand up. our ground. Yeah. And then we did it peacefully and respectfully. And man, Juggalos are just fucking hands down the most unfuckwittable type of person you could ever be. Yes, yo, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hands yeah, down, man. Precious people on the planet. And that's an sure. understatement. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Okay. Um, well, before we continue, how about a little something personal? Oh, you want to do a personal question? Now it's time. Oh, shit. You for real? I don't know what's going to come out of this. No! <laughs> 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 Oh uh, shit! All right, so we have we have never looked at this. I have no idea if this is fucking. Fresh we don't even know if it's gonna be a personal question. Maybe we get the. I thought Rudy was gonna read it because oh, we're all gonna oh, answer you it. Read it. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I guess there's two questions. Oh, here. we gotta go to so, no. So, okay. so pick pick the fresher of the two. That's randomly drawn, by the way. <laughs> Are they wag? <laughs> go ahead. What is it? Yeah, I'm a. We'll make it quick. We'll make okay. It quick. What were you doing the last time you accidentally exposed yourself? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll have to... Well, I mean, that, no, taking a piss is not... I got a question. question. I, got I don't recall that. just like sitting there actually exposing, exposing myself. Accidentally exposing myself. Like you're taking your pants off and somebody walks in the room? Uh, like, yeah, like you, you were accidentally... Accidentally? Like, like somebody walked in Is everybody going to answer the question or not? I got my answer. I'm, 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 I'm trying to know. I'm trying to I'm think trying who walked in the room. I accidentally exposed myself when fucking Shaggy pants me when we were shooting <laughs> the intro for the weekly freakly weekly the other day all right and he went to pull my pants down and he pulled my boxers down and everything right. and i didn't even know i was standing there and i felt cool air on my breeze <laughs> on my balls and my ass and i was like ah! i know for the back your shirt was long enough where your ass was covered so i don't know about your meat in the front unless it's just my meat was your fully ankle. exposed but i just know because that was part of the bit we were doing i was gonna pants you and i Grabbed your shit too hard. You grabbed it so violently, you ripped right. fucking. Well, you gotta do down. everything like extra for a camera, otherwise it looks. You sweet. ripped my drawers down so fucking hard, the <laughs> waistband was still around my waist. You ripped my underwear clean. Oh, the the waistband, waistband blew off. But yo, it, you ripped the thong right out of my ass. Right when I fucking pulled them boys down, I looked and I saw your drawers chill inside your pants. Ripped. I was like, oh shit. I realized I had grabbed your underwear. I grabbed them too high is what I did. Yes, you did. Okay. Right. You okay. ripped my t-shirt down through my underwear. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't have, I don't know. Like, right, this like, is me being I, I'm honest. Being, I'm trying to I'm, think. I'm being straight up honest with you. Like, like usually I pride myself on, on being able to have, you know, in a situation like that, a question like that, being able to tell you something. But I am so careful <laughs> about being naked in front of others. I cannot think of one moment where I, by accident, I expose myself. Like, like I, I don't walk around the house naked. Me, never. No, I, I'm never naked. You know what I, mean? no, I'm, I don't sleep if naked. If I'm changing my underwears, yeah. I'll be naked, but I'll still have a shirt on, probably. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If I'm in the shower or if I'm like <laughs> right. being intimate, whatever the fuck. Yeah. Like, other than that, I'm like never, ever naked. Thaw, really. ever. No, Picture me I naked. always got drawers and boxer shorts, or drawers and fucking yeah. ba- basketball pants on. The, and, at least. And, uh, the, the thing of it is, is like, uh, even even like in, in my entire life, you know, having a girlfriend or a wife, I don't even change in front of them. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like when you're changing your clothes in the morning or whatever. Man, I'm serious. I'm never naked. I'm, dog, I'm I don't. Never I don't naked take my shirt off. You know that. 
but I get naked pants down. <laughs> pants off nothing, party. You know, pants off party. In a large part of that is because I want to be, uh, you know, I think it came from when I was younger. I always wanted to be ready to be, if there was danger, it was like I, a survival. I'm going to say, all right, what if somebody Like jumping out of bed. Asshole, like right. I want to be ready. That like, came from getting like, ass crashed. Like, like naked. window shatters. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be like, oh, right. get my drawers on. No, I want to fucking right. jump out of bed. I'm ready to go. Man, that came from yeah. fucking bad experiences, bro. Yeah, the same no, I know, but I, I'm just saying, like, I, I, I never got attacked naked, but I'm still the same way. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I, I always got to have at least. Man, I've seen man. you fall asleep in the bus, asshole naked, <laughs> countless <laughs> times. Sure. All right, well, look, there's a difference. Well, I'm like, Rudy, go put a blanket over him, man. <laughs> His ass is out again. <laughs> so exposed, that's like, you know, that's your like dick your out. dick hanging out. Yeah. Like somebody saw your, your dick piece. Burning. Right. Okay, well, I, I can honestly say the only. Never. Uh, <laughs> the only the only people ever it's seen my sounds like my kids little baby kids walking in when I'm taking a shower or something. Only my girlfriends, as far as my knowledge goes, only my girlfriends, you know, in the past and, and present, obviously, but like have uh, ever seen my dick piece. Like that's, hey, that's they weird. saw your dick. Yes, <laughs> your girl. <Hey! laughs> that's it. That's my answer. damn. You got the cooties it's now. It's official. Guys. Yeah, I, I'm in your boat, dog. Yeah, straight to four. Yeah. I don't just. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't expose my dick. I my dick out the car window, dog. And, and I wish, I wish I had a story because I usually have a story for every question. I usually have some. Man, a girl asked point. me for a dick pic. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming fast, dog. Full color, fucking twelve inch, <laughs> fucking full page, yeah. page picture, dog. I send her a catalog of dick pics. Here's uh, my mushroom cap from the left and the right. Here's video. What do you need? <laughs> I expose myself. Just the bottom. <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, so we're going to a break now, or was it? Oh, yeah, that's right. The break time? Break. All, All right. right. Now pay let's break. pay the bills. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Oh, Chuck Willie. We'll Willie. be right back. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Sober Balls. I'd like to say from Juggalos in Recovery that we love all your support. Right now, we're looking for setting meetings up everywhere, trying to get Zoom meetings going. We need volunteers to help out. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You know I got a YouTube account. Let's get some stuff going and help people in recovery. Juggalos in Recovery, man. You know what would be the shit that's tripping in the sun? What if we had our own island, man? It's tripping in the sun. I got my toes in the sand watching hoes play volleyball. It's summertime and I'm feeling jolly, y'all. Food on the fire, boats in the water, and taking time off from my cereal slaughter. And here for the weekend, me and these friends. Sunny sunshine, blue skies never end. There's a mermaid waiting me to come in. Underwater on my ball, she's on me. Smoking on a fat one, we come to have fun. I got my dick in your hot dog bun. Pouring up shots for everybody that's sipping. Let's get loose now, skinny dipping. Don't hate me. Cause the speedo I'm wearing Got your girlfriend staring We out here, sky so clear Ice cold beer, suntan topless Bitch, come over here On Juggalo Island We Y'all coming over soon Have a new out I'm getting blue out Come over here If you ever get through out We got a place for ya Never will ignore ya Got a hot plate And a drink We're gonna pour ya Corpse on the grill Plays on the one two Hand around Hit the dead Have fun too Sniffs in the water Funk and we see you Doing flips in the air Run and see you No cops Unless they're pouring up shots, unless they're helping us smoke these crops. Surfing on the big one, have a big fun. Fucking with a big fat one under the sun. Letting them hang, doing our thing. Listen to them up and down the beach, everybody sang. I juggle on my land. We can be one. <laughs> Ouija board, we can only do right. Kids do wrong, fatty in a blue thong. Every 
Everybody can't be together with you gone. Come get with this, we get ridiculous. This world is ours, every bit of this. Get to a burger with cheese, enjoy the breeze. I'm chopper cooking nuts out of palm trees. Here we all win, I'm free ballin'. See me shore side surfing at a dolphin. Grass skirts, dead hula girls, hatchets. And whatever your fishing hook catches, we'll be without you. So let's hang, boom, pow, bang, let's do the damn thing. I juggle on my land. We can be We gotta be cheering. You, know? you want us to cheer for like 30 seconds straight? What the fuck? <laughs> got fucking people over to us to cheer for no reason. Wild dogs all over the desk. <laughs> Joey! So, it appears we're back. He's gonna knock a drink over, Joe. <laughs> He's going for that. He's going we're for back! That yeah, well, whatever. I guess we just got the dog on the desk now. <laughs> oh, over there. Or wherever. So, anyhow, um, we were chilling. Oh, we're back, by the way, if you didn't notice. I hope you enjoyed the videos. I know I did. Oh, yeah. Anyhow, <laughs> uh, we were chilling a couple weeks ago, maybe three, four, maybe a couple months. I don't I can't remember exactly. Uh, but uh, Billy, ho Billy hollered at me and Joe, you know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, the uh, Netflix hollered at us. And we're like, oh, carry on, speak up. Netflix, you say, huh? So anyhow, um, the head... The head, of the, uh, uh, the head of casting for the cartoon department at Netflix had got a hold of us and told us that there's a uh, 
cartoon in 2021 coming out on Netflix. Uh, it's a Netflix cartoon, obviously, put out by Netflix. And uh, it's called Inside Job. And uh, me and Jay are officially doing a couple vibes. We're playing ourselves on it like we usually do in cartoons. We've done a few one cartoons. One thing I gotta correct you on, though. You no, keep saying Netflix. This is Dick, Fli Dick Flicks. Oh, yeah, Dick Picks. Dick, Dick Flicks uh, is Flick the Dick. network we're on. Oh, Fli Dick Flicks. Okay, so it's the, it's the, Dick por Flicks. It's the porno pornographic penis channel. Or maybe I'm confused. No, no. No, that's the oh, one. I'm being told it is Netflix. <laughs> ah! Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Fuck, I was hoping it was Dick Flicks. Anyhow, <laughs> so, so yeah, so basically, uh, you know, we, we've done a few cartoons. We did that Aqua Hunger Teen Fuck, uh, fuck whatever the fuck it's called, uh, the Squid Billies, and uh, I don't know, maybe more. Who fucking knows? I'm not keeping score of you. But anyhow, uh, uh, actually... matter of fact, it, it, it fucking sucked because one of them flipped their voices up and it was like, ah, whatever. But this time, man, these motherfuckers were so professional and fresh. It's, it's a real fucking political, like, driven cartoon for adults. It's not a kid cartoon. But that's what's on Netflix now. Anyhow, let's go to the kid thing. It's all adult. There's mad adult cartoons. But this one is of the political variation. We we're actually saying shit. We had no fucking clue what it even meant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, you, the, the Gary Jones papers? You know what I'm saying? You're like, <laughs> right. I don't know that exactly. Yeah. But we're like, what the fuck is the Gary Jones papers? And then when they explain Oh, that just means that you're taking they, five cents they, off the top on a scam. We're just like... Still don't know what the fuck right. that means. You know they, what I'm saying? They, ha, have they sent stills yet of the so we can see what the cartoon is? No, but like? but however, it was so in effect. We didn't have to fly to LA or New York or wherever fucking Netflix is uh based at. We did it right here at fucking in Rusty's Boom Boom room. Um and we we had to buy all this fucking software where you can actually sync up your fucking your 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 fucking Pro Tools on your computer to each other across the fucking country. So we'd be in our fucking booth doing the vocals for this cartoon, mm -hmm. and it would be going into their computer in L.A. or wherever the fuck they're at. You know what I'm saying? Right. Technology. The future. Oh, that you shit blew Joey's that, mind. It did, I didn't understand. I'm so used to, like, fucking rapping into headphones, connected to a wire, connected to a boombox. I didn't understand technology. I, I didn't do it because I thought it was, like, something, some bad science fiction shit, and we are going to get cancer in our heads from recording it. So I didn't do it. But we both did it, and uh, it's going to be fresh. I made that sound so lame. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> but no, it's dope. It's coming out next, uh, this coming up year, and uh, 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 the pandemic ain't fucking with it. It's just a bunch of people in, in booths doing their, their, their lines. But yeah, it's a very small part, but it may lead to bigger parts on that show or to different shit on Netflix just in general. What do you mean small part? We're reoccurring characters. Well, we've only done one episode so far. Hey, hey, Small hey. Small part on that episode. We're on every episode. Did you hear what I said after it? We got big said, roles, dude. Big, big roles, shit. man. Big roles. Big roles. Only big roles in my pocket, my bankroll. Uh, uh, springing off of that, there's also a Netflix documentary about Woodstock 99. Oh, that You guys yeah. are going to be a part of as well. That's right. A so, yeah. lot of shit for Netflix coming up. Yeah, yeah no so, doubt. Uh, you know, Woodstock 99 is legendary because, you know, it, it was like 250,000 attendees. Right, the big like, fires, all you know, that shit. Yeah, and then at the end, it started going You're south because right. they're charging like $5 for a bottle of water. Yeah, water. yeah. Speaking of Netflix, and speaking yeah. of Netflix, Dick I like. Are we talking about Dick Flicks or Netflix? Netflix. Show? Okay, not. I don't want to be confused. Speaking of Netflix, people. I want to talk about the John Kickass documentary. A lot right. of people have been asking, "Where's the John Kickass documentary?" Uh. You guys did the Carnival Carnage show with all proceeds going to the John Kickass documentary, um, and I'm gonna tell you now where it's at. Where it's at is on the cutting room floor, as they say, of the editor's suite. Why? Because <clears throat> no matter how we spliced it or worded it or tried to pretty up the situation, to do the entire story just on that aspect is two things. We learned after attempting to do it. We learned that it's either very depressing because it, there really is no bounce back or come back from it, you know? It's like we lost John, um, the uh, original third member of ICP. People don't know this, but there was actually four members of ICP. When we first hit the studio and recording our first EP, Dog Beats, there was four members to ICP, two Johns and two Joes. And uh, at the end of recording Dog Beats, one of the Johns quit. Then we started recording Carnival of Carnage, our debut album, and there was one John and two Joes, me and Joey, 
Joe and a Joey. Not really too. Me and Joe. Joey and his brother John. We did all the Carnival Carnage album, and John ended up leaving the group right after we recorded Carnival Carnage, and um, you know things went downhill for John. You know what I'm saying? He ended up passing away due to uh, same reason the other John died. Heroin is a bitch. And um, well, he actually, uh, my brother actually died from alcohol. You know what I'm saying? But he went through a big heroin thing that led to all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all drugs and alcohol mixed up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fucked up. Um, and it's just when you do a, a documentary all about John, as much as we wanted to show his, um, because I'll be honest, I said this before and I'll say it again. When I wrote the book Behind the Paint, it was like what 12 years ago, 13 years ago. Uh, Probably 15 years ago. ago now. John was still very much alive, and and honestly, I was very fucking bitter at him still. You know what I'm saying? This was right before the Six Jokers card came out, and I sort of downplayed John's role in things, and I admit that, but I was real salty because he, he, he left the group at, at a time when we needed him the most, and he was my best friend going through um a very pivotal age in, in, in a in a, in a motherfuckers life when they first have sex you know what I'm saying when they first break away from being an adolescent you know basically following your mom around doing what as you're told to making your own decisions to fucking creating who you are you know like what kind of music you listen to who you hang out with how you present yourself those decisions are very crucial to somebody's life and me and John and Joey were like a, a fucking three man tree three boy trio in those days, and um, when John quit the group, it wasn't just the group, because the group was still fairly new, it broke my heart, you know what I'm saying? And um, I couldn't believe he did that to us, because we were always so close for so many years. And so I was bitter at him, is what I'm trying to say. And, and I regret that now, having lost John these years later. And I wanted to tell the story of uh, John's real role in things. And um, when we focused in to do that, it just wasn't a very happy fucking ending, no matter how we tried to paint it up or, um, you know, how we tried to do it. So, what we figured out was John's story is best told um, in a story about ICP completely, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 100%. The, the whole thing, because you will then see ICP go on to prosper off the seeds John helped plant. You know what I'm saying? To end a story with John is um, too depressing. And then to show ICP continue on without John and yet, yet it be a John Kickjass documentary is also depressing. You know what I'm saying? But to give the entire legacy of ICP it's and tell about John's real role in things, it... um is more it's more um, a befitting tribute you know to his contributions so we decided to do a giant documentary retrospective of all things icp and while we're at it telling about john we decided we're also going to tell about the other john and we're going to tell about um things we've gone to great lengths to it keep was, secret from right. juggles. I mean, yeah, I mean, this isn't a secret, but there also was another third member of of, of ICP at one point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Greasy. A, a replacement you know for John. Yeah. When John left, right. we tried to replace him with a guy named Greasy. And, um, you know, that lasted like a month and a half. Yeah, uh, he he, I, he just wasn't a rapper Robbie, at all. I was actually a third member. You were for one for show. One you were on stage, show. though. You had one, one show. show. I was yeah. a third member with the clown paint and everything. Just the yeah, right, not the white. And, the Detroit and Music I, Awards. Yeah. It was the Detroit Music Awards. I took place of uh, John because he he, 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 he no-showed yeah. or whatever. Did you place Gre replace Greasy? Was I it? did? I don't remember. I that. don't know. No, no. no just, it was remember. John. I don't remember what it was. Yeah. And uh, so I, I rehearsed, and I went up there, and we were like, man, nobody's going to know. They're not going to know the difference. They did. Because the group was so <laughs> right. new. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody knew who was in the group or what right. they looked like, you know? Yeah, that's when Stuart Frankie called us white, white rapping mimes yeah. <laughs> from the, in the Metro Times. And we just, that was the first time we got publicly dissed by a writer, and we were so fucking hot. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we put it, get off me, dog. Stuart Frankie. Or fuck, couple fucking it's fuck Stuart Frankie. They call me Stuart Frankie, bitch ass. So yeah, we are Stuart mad. Frankie, bitch ass. God, how mad were we were for that one little fucking thing. We Two different songs he made it into yeah. back in the day. We were so mad. Yeah, we were <laughs> mad. We, that's back before, you know, you gotta understand. That's back before Juggalos. That's back before the, whatever kind of rep ICP has. So that was like a fucking stab. We're like, oh, we were just trying yeah, to. We're like, well, oh, you just gonna talk shit and about he us in the paper? He was a prominent writer in the fucking weekly. It wasn't even in the newspaper. It was the Entertainment Weekly magazine that comes out. So everybody's hip and buys records, right. all looking at that. And he called us white rapping minds. <laughs> <laughs> and we we're like, this motherfucker, man. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> so, so, so just to be clear, just to be clear, we're talking about a documentary. About the entirety of I, ICP, like including from, the stuff we've gone to great lengths to pretty keep much everything out of the juggalos, like a lot of the uh, behind the paint, like covering all that, but all the way up until where we are to now, right now, and and and, and 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 things we didn't address in behind the paint, right? That's what I'm saying, like the full on story, yes, like and and John Kig Jazz would be a part of that, just like he was left know, out story. of out of behind the paint. There were things. Left out of behind the paint. There's like no yeah. JCW tour and behind the paint. You know what I'm saying? It, it ends at what WWE? Yeah, but I'm talking about travesty shit. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, you everything know? in general. I'm just thinking like, of how like, much you know, shit. There, there was there was a lot ended. left out. And um, this documentary we're putting together is uh, we we reached back to Paul Andreessen, who did shock documentary, and Rustlers. did Big Money Rustlers, and did a slew of our videos and shit. And uh, we're talking to him about. Putting this thing together, but before we put it together, which we already have everything pretty much put together, um, we wanted to see if Netflix would be down. Because next year, 2021, happens to be ICP's official 30th year anniversary. You only get a 30-year anniversary once. Yes, sir. And ours happens to be next year, right when we're putting together this big-ass documentary, right? Which is really a, a, a docu-series, right? Right. So we're possibly. Like, so, Netflix so, does these document, do, yeah, documentaries. We're, lo we're looking at this possibly being like three episodes or maybe five episodes. They got episodes. these documentaries that are yeah. six episodes long. Yeah. Like the Jimmy Iovine, Dr. Dre one. Yeah, that was not And Netflix, they got lesser but... lesser successful people. Yeah, they got, they got like they, they got six Six they got like episode, American, episode right, like American Murder, some guy that yeah. got a death roll and it was a murder. They got yeah, like they got six episode documentaries, you know? Mm. So we're presenting our story to Netflix right now about them doing that with us. And if they pass, if Netflix ends up not being interested, and that's after we, we've exhausted every avenue we have to Netflix, if they end up not being interested, then we're going to go ahead and do the documentary ourselves, and it's going to be a three-hour, huge fucking documentary. Pretty much like a shoot documentary, you know what I'm saying? And you think about all the old-school footage we've discovered oh, God, since, yeah. you know, like, it's just going to be insane. I, I want to see the ICP movie. That's what I want to see, you know what well, I mean? Well, you know, maybe yeah, yeah. someday, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it, we certainly ain't got nothing to do with that. If that happens, right. like, we wouldn't know how yeah. to, you know. Yeah, we don't. Well, We're I, still I, living I just, our movie. Yeah, I just, I, I want to see that, though, the, the ICP movie. That what about be. this? What's the that? fucking three-hour documentary. Oh, I mean, that's sweet as fuck, but I'm just saying the ICP movie. Well, you just cut us down, right? <laughs> <laughs> I got everybody thinking Leave about it that. I got everybody thinking about the ICP You know, that documentary would be cool, but would really be cool. <laughs> right. You guys would be a that. You guys movie. should do this. And Big Money Thrusters. I want to see oh, that. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this fucking let's, guy. Let's throw it all out there. Come on. <laughs> all this shit is not going to happen. Gonna, no. I swear, <laughs> in our lifetime, at some point, I just feel strongly about that. You must have forgotten trilogy, one crucial fact. <laughs> we're broke. The trilogy. <laughs> right. Hey, Kickstarter, man, millions of dollars. You want to see fucking, you want to shoot? I'm just saying. You yeah. want to see big yeah. money thrusters? Tell Juggalos, quit fucking up the porta potties. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. You you'll get big money, money thrusters. You can yeah. save some money. Quit, but, quit, tagging, quit tagging and burning the, the bathrooms. <laughs> and, you know, maybe we'll come back with a little change for that. Quit sneaking in, man. Right? It's, it's trilogy, blowing the fucking though. stage up with fire. Quit sneaking in by the tens of thousands. <laughs> the trilogy <laughs> has to be completed at some point in our lifetime. I it really will, hope. man. I really hope so. We're only fucking... I'm only 35. Right. 
I mean, we got our whole life ahead of us. Younger than him, so shit. <laughs> we're all mid thirties in this bitch. I mean, how much? How much longer? <laughs> I mean, we're fucking got our whole lives ahead of for real. Like, right, I mean, come yeah, on, like right. I feel pretty capable. <laughs> Right, right. Don't you? 100%, yeah. We'll come out with it eventually. I got, as soon as we I get got, rich off this Netflix documentary. Right. Okay. <laughs> I you got see karma, how it works? I got karma we come with a documentary, the we get rich off that. You got Tarpo Country. Then we're what able to say? do. I got karma through the roof. No, karma you said car- Carpal Tundra syndrome. Karma. He's got Crumpel Tundra syndrome. For syndrome. big money thrusters. <laughs> you got Crumpet Tongue. What? what crumpet Tongue? <laughs> 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 All right. On to more news. Me and. Shaggy, oh, you probably you, you, your eyeballs may be dancing inside of your skull right now. Just, just wondering, hey man, those are some pretty fresh fucking jerseys you guys got on. We well, might have a chance to get them very soon. I'm just cutting a fucking. Not just these jerseys, though. These ones are played up. No, no, all the shit that we're about to be wearing and shit uh, yes. coming up for throughout this documentary. I mean, <laughs> they were just talking throughout about this documentary. podcast, throughout this fucking month. Of the of the ICP's what's it called freak show fucking house peep party show? peep show house, house party peep show <laughs> you will notice a plethora of jerseys such as the one Rob's wearing right there jump steady hold on is this coming out because I just grabbed this out of my closet it might as well <laughs> it's dope I don't know I don't even know where this came from yeah, right? I'm about to say hey, nobody else got where did you get that I look know, all I saying. know I don't know where it came let from, me just I cut the it. shit all right we we're supposed <laughs> to have the shit now by by the time we went on the air but the shit's coming from China it's a little slow. <laughs> But it'll be here by the time we're on the net air in a couple days, right? I, I don't I don't think this is gonna be included in that. Though. I it's fucking like, it's not. Alright, but what you guys this are wearing. Bro, no, this is oh, we already got you this. You can out. get this right oh. now. Kevin, well, that's some. What you never saw this, Rob? <laughs> no, I haven't this seen it. This is that called one. Riddle Bugs. No, I'm saying I'm saying <laughs> I'm I so glad seen, you got hit with I haven't that, seen not this me. incarnation <laughs> of those jerseys. <laughs> what is, it, is this Rob or Manny? I can't see so well. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Listen, the point is, throughout this fucking month, you're going to see us all wearing a plethora of jerseys, all right? Those jerseys will all be available Black Friday. Black Friday. The day before Thanksgiving. November Wait, that's the day before or after Thanksgiving? After Thanksgiving. But they're like... Who gives a fuck? I didn't see one jersey yet that I never seen before. Right. That's you because of it. fucking Rudy. Yeah, that's that's this guy over oh, here. His, got the shit bad. here late. All right, and we but, ain't been able to ride. But it. the thing is, when you see, when you do feast your fucking eyeballs upon the fucking jerseys that we'd be blessing these cameras with, you know what I'm saying? Your fucking mind is gonna spin inside of your head until your fucking spinal cord snaps at we the bottom. Got a gang of bomb ass jerseys Word coming up. out. We're gonna, gonna be like. Every time we're on the air this month, we're going to debut a new jersey. It's going to be sweet. You're going to want to know how you can be down. And all you got to do is send us the fucking money. sack of cash right. in a plastic bag. See, here's the whole thing. We love it when we get money. Yeah. I mean, do you? I, I love getting money. It's, we don't get it enough. I know. Sure. The problem is that we don't, we don't give it as much as we give <laughs> it. That's why we love it so much, because it's so seldom around here. Right. <laughs> all I know is we give it way more than we get it. Oh, yeah. You know we, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So peep out the jerseys we'll be wearing on ICB's House Party Peep Show, and you can get yours starting Black Friday. Friday. Now, I want to talk about... Man, we still got so much info still. I know, we got to hurry up. Fuck. I want to talk about something Jump Steady mentioned earlier, uh, the speculation on whether or not Psychopathic Records is really selling the office. The very same office we had the acoustic shows at, and we had the big fucking, what was that sale called? Last year's Black Friday sale. Oh, you're talking about the Black Friday sale? Last year? Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. What was that called? Black Friday sale? Yeah, it was just I think it was Black Friday sale. Yeah. Not to mention Lotus Pod. You know what I'm saying? We've been in that office since 1999. You know what I'm right. saying? So, man, the shit that went down up in there for the last fucking 11 years, holy But you know what? Fuck. We've had quite a few offices. <laughs> yes, we have. And we've but had a store see, chico down all Historical tours on right here on during the uh, weekly fucking what is it called? ICB's house party peep show. Why is it gotta be so long? ICB's house you party came up with it. <laughs> I forgot the minute I said it. Look, Lana Jay's <laughs> Beast Boy Barbecue Blast Bass. Look, we're gonna show you all the offices we've had in our career. That's why we're not so sad about leaving the one right. we're in now because. What? Evolution, baby. Right. Which Time every single on. one, it was just as important as the one we're leaving now. You know what I'm saying? As far as our career went. I mean, monumental shit in our career happened in every single one of them offices. That's right. And monumental shit will happen at the new it's office. That's right. It's not done, man. Because the, iceberg. the new office is going 
to be something fucking spectacular. Plans are, and I repeat, plans are to move into a structure so enormous in size that we can only fucking name it something like the clown compound. Plans are for us to go out to some old, say, grain factory. I don't know, I'm pulling it out of my ass. To go out to the boonies and buy some old farm, right? And convert it into the new psychopathic records. A farm, why? Why you ask? Well, because we like to milk cows and pet <laughs> sheep. I mean, you're besides that, chicken, so besides that, there. we also like to hang with juggalos and do concerts right on our own property. Yeah, That's to, why. To put it in perspective, the properties that we're looking at are about 50 to 100 acres, which is the equi- equivalent of Legend Valley. Like right. that size. Like somewhere in a around. perfect world, in a perfect world, which is obviously far from perfect. <laughs> All you gotta do is look around you right now. But... In a perfect imaginary world, we will fucking move into a new structure that is so in effect, we'll be able to have the gathering right on our own property. But that's not our goal. Uh, that's that's speculation. That's not our goal. Well, hey, he said <laughs> in a perfect world. I know, yeah. That's guy, not our goal. We're not right. looking to have the gathering. But we are looking to have these events on our own property. Weekend camping. That's right. Bring your fucking RV. Bring that shitty fucking tent you got. Bring a sleeping bag and sleep under the stars. We don't give a fuck. Bring a condom and you and your girlfriend can roll up in it. We don't give a fuck what you're doing. Sleep butthole naked on the grass with nah. June bugs in your ass. Just come to weekend camping at Psychopathic Records Clown Compound. Can you imagine it? Right. There'll be giant screens showing movies all night long. We'll have wrestling, JCW shows right at the compound. We talk about many gatherings, basically. Right. Like, We're going to have know, amphitheater yeah. right on the grounds. We do concerts right on the grounds. And get this. We plan, in a, in a, in a, again, in a perfect world, we'll be able to do all that indoors. We'll find a building so big, like an old warehouse, indoor, we'll be able to have indoor, indoor concerts, shit. indoor wrestling. And get this. Mm. We're going to look for a building so big and old and shitty that we'll actually be able to rent rooms <laughs> to Juggalos, and Juggalos can live at Psychopathic Records, and we can all live in a giant flop house. That That's speculation, too. <laughs> no, it's not. Ask me this. No, it's not. Yes, it does. Ask Billy. Okay. <laughs> so you speculated with him. Me and Billy <laughs> talked about it. We're fucking doing it. The whole the whole hook, though, the, the thing that excites me the most about this move that we're making right now is the fact that we can have events, we can have small concerts, you know, uh, there'll be ninjas, uh, uh, from psychopathic basically living in the in this compound like you know ninjas will be living there so there'll be houses there'll be uh warehouses there'll be barns there'll be uh, and you can live there too there'll be a music hall like a, a music hall man home. don't you remember the old psychopathic hotel we talked about getting yeah yeah well this yeah. is it everything <laughs> comes around in the laws of attraction man but we got you know it, it it's happening. The whole thing is definitely happening. Like, definitely uh, mad time and effort is being put into the move. And, and mad time we're, and effort we're is looking being put at, into the thought. We're, we're literally looking at properties almost every day or every other day. We're looking at new properties, trying to find the perfect place. An old hospital. And an old I'm, fucking golf dome. I'm super excited about it because it, it, it's just going to open up so much new possibilities for us. And we're going to be out in the boonies where the law is rampant where they don't give a fuck what you're yeah. doing because you live way out. You can just blast your shotgun. You know, you can ride around a four-wheeler. Woo! Whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? You go behind fucking all you want through a river and your fucking Mustang. Whatever you want to do, you can be able to do it right at the clown compound. You can even move in, bring your fucking kids, your wife. You know what I'm saying? Cheap rent. You know what I'm saying? And, and the thing of it just is... Just don't fucking short us on the rent or you can kick the fuck out. The thing of it is, is it's, it's not a new idea... But it's newly implemented. In other words, we've been toying with the idea for like probably 10 years, you know, or it kept getting brought up, like the idea of this. And then finally we're like, all right, it's time to do it now, you know. It is. And And, and we're going to fucking do it and we're going to get the ultimate place we're looking everywhere. We're going to get the ultimate building. We're going to have an amphitheater. What is it it called when you put a pavilion over the stage? So if it rains, it doesn't rain on us and all the equipment. 
It just rains on the ninjas in the crowd. <laughs> Therefore, nobody dies from shock and fucking ter- terror as the speakers. Or, or, yeah, or that fucking that country group, that state fair, when it just fell on all those people. Well, you know what I'm saying? None of that shit. My idea is that we, we would have an indoor, you know, concert. Yeah, that's balls. what we're looking for. Like a 500. Yeah. At if least you can't 500, find that, though, we got to go outdoors. Like a, but, and you'd also have an outside stage when it's summer. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we were talking there about. There you go. You know we get I mean? both. Yeah. 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 And then, and then, like we we would have events like like the big ball, like what we did with big ballers, is, is to me one of the freshest things we've ever done. Yeah, it was dope. And then here we got like the opportunity to do like yearly events at the clown compound or where we're gonna. We're call looking it. for a place to do yeah. it legally, yeah. to actually have yeah. concerts there legally. You know, we're gonna pay the fucking licensing, whatever we got. You know what yeah, I mean? Right, no. And get it all legally. We're grown ass men. There's no reason why we, we're grown ass men with fucking young, young, young educations. And there's no reason why we can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we're gonna fucking do it legally. And we're gonna be able to fucking, you know, have our own weekend uh, shindigs there. You know, like, think how much fun, we just wanna be together too. We yeah. understand that's the beauty of the juggalo world. Yeah. If juggalos just wanna be together, we're gonna give them a place to do it at. Yeah. And since we, since we put up that for sale sign in front of uh, the, the, the office we're in now, I just been waiting to tell ninjas about I this. Know, they, you know what I mean? Going out of business. So we like, wait, wait, we gotta wait, you know, until, until we, you know, we we, we run this. Event. Something like Prince's Paisley Park, only not nice. Right. You know what I'm saying? We want something like Michael Jackson Neverland, only right. rusty and fucking right. old. Only yeah, only only shitty. Right. <laughs> it's gonna be cold in the fucking winter and fucking hot in the summer. Well, yeah. But that's how we get down. That, that's it. Hey, if you live there, that's the only way you' about to stay warm is bringing your own space heater. That's all I know. Because we ain't providing. Man, think about we it. We ain't now. providing electricity or water. So bring your own. Think shit. what it's gonna be like to live with twenty-five different, you know, households of juggalos. It's gonna be great. Right. Yeah. When, when we're renting out all those rooms, and and um, Rudy makes us all eggs and bacon in the morning. It'd be great. And Rudy has to mow the fucking 90 acres of grass. Oh, man. It's so going to be great. Old school ones, too. No engine in it. It's... So, obviously, we're still trying to formulate exactly, exactly what it is. But it's going to be fresh no we're matter looking, what. We're looking, man. We're going to do it. We, we, we accomplish things all the time. If anything, in, in, in the worst possible scenario, we'll fucking have a new big-ass place. And we'll at least probably be able to have weekend camping. I can't understand why we could Oh, yeah, no, that. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, know, you, know be... what I, you know what I would fucking... Um, what you're talking about trying to figure out what it is, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out what this four horsemen of the metropolis is. Oh, shit. Because if we right. keep going on about this fucking compound... It's a good We're going to be here until 5 in the morning. It? No, yeah, I could it, talk about it for a while. We talk... could if we didn't have 20 other things to talk about. We're, we're, searching, right. we're searching fucking high and low, Juggalos. Just know that. And if you out there... We're on page 3 out of and 7. And you happen to have a location in mind, an abandoned prison, say... A haunted insane asylum, <laughs> underground tunnels that lead to the bowels of hell. Anything you've got, let us know about it. Call our real estate t- real estate agent. Actually, we represent ourselves. <laughs> All right. Now, what was I talking about? You were just Four mentioning something. Metropolis. Yes. Where's that at? Right after the fucking one we were just talking about. Next in line. Next on the list. Put your glasses on. You can probably see it better. <laughs> Here we are. Next, coming up, Psychopathic Records is changing with the times. You know, let's let the fucking cat out of the bag. It doesn't make sense to sign artists when you're a label that basically is underground. You don't have any radio play. You don't have any significant video play. When you have artists on your label, you're just basically losing, losing, losing. And what little money they're making, that artist, you're taking half of it and you're losing all kinds of money, and everybody's fucking Normally dying you're broke. taking 95% of it. We're fucking crazy over here. We do 50-50 right. deals. We do a 50-50 deal. We talk about normally get half it. Normally motherfuckers get nothing. We've always done a 50-50 deal with our artists, which is unheard of in the music industry. I mean, in the music industry, it's more like you take 95%, no, they right. get 5%. That's, that's a lucky deal. Yeah, that's a good deal. We, we've always done 50-50, and it's always enabled to the same outcome. We go broke. <laughs> now, even back when in the, the group does great, we still get paid. Back guys. in the 90s, though, it made much more sense to have an, a roster full of artists because CDs were selling still. Yeah, it was right. still the preferred method of music, and we at least wouldn't go as broke. <laughs> but now it doesn't make any sense. So uh, we've sort of trained all our artists, and they've trained themselves how to survive on their own. 
and now we just have great working relationships with our artists and we're no longer going broke. You know what I'm saying? But here's what we plan on doing. We plan on promoting four different producers. Why? Because producers we actually collab with. In other words, we mentioned them earlier. Shaggy the Airhead, Devereaux, Straight Jacket. These are incredible producers whose music we're rapping over. Ouija introduced us to Devereaux. Ouija, Ouija introduced us to uh, Shaggy the Airhead. Uh, we knew Straight Jacket, our own discovery. And um, those, we rap on their music and we feel like we're, con we're actually doing collaborations with them. So, out of the love for them, we're going to release, we're going to start up the Four Horsemen of the Metropolis. But you say Four Horsemen. You've only mentioned three, Jay. Who is this fourth ninja? The fourth ninja <laughs> is yet to <laughs> be revealed. The, right. the fourth ninja is a surprise for your eyes to be revealed at a later date. But right now, Shaggy the Airhead, Devereaux, and Straight Jacket are three of the four horsemen of the Metropolis. What will they be doing, you ask? I'll tell you. They will be releasing mixtapes similar to what DJ Clay used to do. They will be releasing remix versions. Remix versions of Wizard of the Hood, for example. Soon we'll be releasing Wizard of the Hood remixed by the four horsemen of the Metropolis. That's right. All four producers putting their touch on Wizard of the Hood. Also slated for release, the Tunnel of Love remix version and the Tempest remix version. And, as I said earlier, mixtapes that will feature ICP, um, new and old music, and special guests of all sorts. Maybe Jump Steady. Maybe Kung Fu Vampire and the old RV he used to drive. It could be. <laughs> could Barry be. went him in Mike Rotunda. We don't know. It could be my son JJ spitting the hot 16. You never know. But might be my daughter singing her sweet angelic voice. We don't know because we haven't done it yet. But the four horsemen of the metropolis will be releasing music in mixed form fashion on Psychopathic Records very soon as well as remix versions to your favorite classics. Sounds pretty cool, right? Yeah, so let me ask you, like, <clears throat> when you say the Tunnel of Love remix, does that mean, like, there's going to be a producer working, a different producer on each song? Yeah, doing a or remix? working together. Yeah, or, Like, I, you might get to the song Cotton Candy, yeah. it might be like, this was remixed by Devereaux and Shaggy the Airhead. Because right. uh, already okay. right now, Devereaux and Shaggy the Airhead already do a lot of collabs together, you know right. what I'm saying? Right, so, 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 but all four of them are going to be working on each project. Yes. And that fourth person yeah. might be Kuma. Right, okay. It, the legendary Kuma. Right. It might be Mike P. Oh, shit. It might be <laughs> Rob Bruce. <laughs> that definitely won't be me. <laughs> There's no telling. It might be Robert the Bruce. Nah, I don't think so. Who wants it to be Robert the Bruce? <laughs> Chime in. Right. Okay. This guy. I want to hear what you got. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be great because it's just something to bump when you're at a party, right? Imagine putting in that Tunnel of Love version nobody's ever heard. What the fuck is that? Right. You know what I'm saying? That's that new Four Horsemen remix version, you know? And the mixtape featuring Shaggy Too Dope with... Glow. What was the guy's name from fucking... Was that band? Um, Glow. Yeah, what's his name? What's his name? Oh, I don't, I don't know what the fucking name of the band is. The fucking... Um, is his name Jared? J um, yeah, from fucking Head PE. Jay Leno? His, <laughs> his old band. Yeah, yeah, what was it? The Clue. Oh. It may be Shaggy Too Dope featuring The Clue. Yes. No, now for sure it is. What do you think? It might be. That's, that's going down. It might be Violent J featuring Moon Glorious. You don't know what it's going to be until it hits you upside the head. It's going to be wonderful. The mixtapes are going to be quite tantalizing, and it's going to be rather succulent. All right. <laughs> All the old succulents, huh? <laughs> now, he is succulent moving on ahead. So. Shaggy, if you will. I will. I will, and I was about to cut you off, so I'm glad you said my name, Succulent Jay. <laughs> I heard you inhale. <laughs> That's my asthma and my emphysema kicking in. Um, but um, as you well know, I know we do, but as you probably well know now, if you read the, uh, uh, anything about what we're doing this month, um, the, uh, 
Insane Clown Posse's uh, House Party Peep Show. You're right, that is the longest fucking name ever on earth. But uh, is actually the first event out of five that we're calling the Ultra Live Monster 5. Perhaps you've seen the infomercial we put out. Perhaps you haven't. Either way, we don't give a fuck because we're doing it regardless. This right here, the whole month, if you subscribe to this shit right here, then that this is the first event for the Ultra Live Monster 5, which means that you and your bag that you're getting, your, your fucking uh, flavor bag, you're getting for subscription, we'll have... Technically, Hollow Wicked is the official... It is, it is officially, but, I mean, if you... So, yeah, you, you can subscribe right before Hollow Wicked, but you can still go back and watch all this anyhow if you subscribe late, you know what I'm saying? But, and you get the flavor bag no matter when you subscribe to this, even though Hollow Wicked is the event. Um, your first, very first coin that you get for each of the show, each of the events and shows of uh, uh, Ultra Live Monster 5, you'll be getting a coin, and this is the very first one you'll be receiving is your gift bag or your flavor bag, whatever the fuck we called it, for, uh, for the subscription that you got for getting this. So there will be four more events going down. I mean, chances are once the pandemic rules are lifted and shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, we got some fucking shit coming up that we brainstormed for months and months. I mean, we came up with this shit it was about beginning of last summer, I think, we started talking about because doing like this shit. Because like you pointed out earlier, the concert we were going to do in my living room was going to be was gonna be the first one. Yes, it was. Yes. But, and it uh, technically is. Yeah. Well, yeah, now it is because it's hollow wicked coming from your... So we weren't wrong. We weren't... We, we just were, were aimed a little bit off. But uh, but we got we got uh, four, four more spectacular events coming up. The first one being ICP's... Headbanging heavy metal spandex hard rock spectacular. Another very short, easy to remember name. Something that you, you can go to the old folks' home, tell to your fucking uh, grandma who's got dementia, and she'll remember it for sure. Uh, that's ICP's headbanging heavy metal spandex hard rock spectacular. Tell them what it's gonna be. Oh, I was about to get into that. I was about to get into it. That's gonna be a live fucking 80s style hair rock band, including me and Jay dressed up as hair rock band ninjas like Motley Crue or And we invite Cinderella all juggalos to come. Please, when you come, dress up in old wolf gear. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if your fucking dad used to listen to Rat or Poison back in the day, get into his fucking closet, get some of them fucking old buckles and belts and spandex pants and fringes and fucking feather your fucking wolf hair and fucking make sure you're smoking a marble red with a Mountain Dew in your hand with a bag of cheese Doritos. You know what I'm saying? That's how we're getting down on that. And the whole night's gonna be a fucking just straight up loud headbanging live covers of ICP's classic that you know on Plus, love. we're gonna cover 80s hair metal as well. Yeah, we, we are gonna be covering some of our Come favorite. Come on, feel the noise. All right, see, I can fucking. Girls, rock your boots. <laughs> wild, 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 wild. Yeah. So you see, I got an ugly face. It makes me ugly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's gonna be a great fucking night. Uh, man, and you gotta understand, man, when we were, when we were coming up with these, Yo, there was like a fucking, we were coming up with those illest shit, dog. This is what it got narrowed down to, you know what I'm saying? It was so much stuff. And this is actually the more uh, obtainable, realistic shit that we were able to do. We were trying to like get inside of volcanoes and shit. This craziness on submarines, so, so you know what I'm saying? The point is, next year, there will be that concert. It, 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 I believe it's slated, I'm even going to give a location. I believe it's slated for Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's what we were talking about originally. Yes, it, it was 100 percent because it was between uh, it was between Albuquerque and uh, San Antonio because San Antonio is known for their live music and rock and shit. You know what I'm saying? But uh, okay, so then we got the Prom Night Massacre Severed Limb Class Reunion. To get to, to you must attend all five of these. Yeah, all five of these. But we'll get what, the coins. We will tell you the benefits after we reveal what all the events. Because when you, you know get all saying? five coins, you get hooked up. You get super benefits. But that, that night, the Prom Massacre show happened back in the fucking early 90s. What was the exact uh, year? The, what was the year? This is the so first coin. 1996. Here. the first coin. Right here is the first coin. The second the, coin? is ICP's head, what is it called? Without head looking at the paper? twister, fucking <laughs> sister, <laughs> heavy right. metal, ICP. Head spandex, <laughs> fucking mad gobs of mascara, <laughs> head banging ball. Right. <laughs> Raw dog in, in a train. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, high CPs, headbanging, heavy metal, spandex, hard rock, spectacular. But the Prom Night Massacre show happened in 1996 in downtown Detroit at the fucking uh, now infamous St. Andrews Hall. And um, it, was, uh, it, it was modeled after a high school prom. 
You know what I'm saying? Like it's one of our most legendary shows. We, ever. Yeah, it was it, really, it was really it was fucking is. dope. Yeah, the whole so inside dope. of St. Andrews looked like uh, you know streamers. We did a balloon drop. It looked like a high school prom. Like a straight and up high school prom like under the seat. Everybody came prom dressed up like prom. We had to shit. sit in front. We could take pictures like you do. We had prom. limos parked out front of St. Andrews. We had a big banner out front yeah. of St. Andrews that said "Welcome to Severed Limb right. High School." Yeah, we had all the limos. Class prom. Exactly. All that shit. And then when the show ICP show started. The curtains open and there was a band called the Sunshine Boys. We're opening up. They're just like we're a trio guys with guitars. They were corny as shit. And then all of a sudden, like their shit gets cut off. Me and Jay came out. Out of the chased, lockers. Out of the lockers, popped out, chased them off with fucking hatchets and axes, and then did our fucking show. It went down as a Detroit legendary show forever. Now we want to bring it back. And then we figured like we're actually doing it on like or right near the anniversary of the original one. But anyhow, that being said. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. We don't know. More on that later. But we're we're revamping that yes, show. Yes, it's the 25th anniversary. Well, yeah, the but prom, we're, we're, talking about doing, we're talking about doing it the same it's weekend. It's the class reunion. Yes, the cla- well, that's in the actual <laughs> title right there. Prom Night Massacre Severed Limb Class Reunion, uh, which would be Severed Limb High. So if you heard about that concert and you heard how legendary it was, you now thought we're how dope rebooting it rebooting it, now you got a chance to see it. Right. We're going to be the same shit. It's going to be decorated out. It's going to be just like the high school prom that we never went to, and that's why we had it. So we, now we officially better Everything's prom. purple, pink, and silver. Yeah, it's just like your, your mom's prom. Um, at, that, that is where you're going to be able to get your third coin from is at that event right there. You don't want to miss it. So, um, so far you're going to... This? You're got, staying at home. Right. You get your first coin from this. Enjoying it from the, your couch. Then you're going to Albuquerque. Right to, to headbang, then Detroit. Then you're going to, go to Detroit Andrews. to have your your school prom reunion. Now the next one, I'll, I'll just go ahead and say, is actually taking place in the backwood hills of West Virginia, like where they fucking film Pumpkinhead. You know what I'm saying? Fucking wrong back, turn, back wrong turn, backwater. Fucking dirt roads winding up cliff, fucking straw hat. In the corn, Appalachian cob, Mountains. Pipe wearing, barefoot, overall moonshining, fucking motherfucking territory. Straight up in the thick of it. You know what I'm saying? We already know in the venue. In the fucking mountains. In West Virginia. This venue is seriously in the mountains. It doesn't get more fucking hillbilly than this fucking venue. Straight up, there's nothing around this. It's an outside venue. Their dressing room are cabins. You know what I'm saying? Fucking outside venue, fucking on top of the fucking Appalachian Mountains, and, and it's fucking aptly titled ICP's Hootenanny Hardcore Hillbilly Hoedown. And we want everybody to come out in their best redneck gear. That's right. Dress up however the fuck you think a hillbilly would look, a redneck, hillbilly, whatever the fuck. You know and what what's funny about. is we're going to... I can't shut up. I'm too excited. Go, hey, have at We're it. going to the heart. Of hillbillyism. Dog, dog, the Appalachian in middle of the fucking Apple. And when I say in middle, I'm talking about there's not even a dollar store. To make fun Every of Every piece of shit little town in America has a fucking dollar general at it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everyone! I've read about it. They destroy communities. And they always target fucking poor little mountain towns. Now we play... There's not even one of those for an hour and a half away from this venue. It's a middle... On the top of the Shit, fucking Appalachian Mountains. We might be doing a show at the Dollar General. Word up in fucking West Virginia. It doesn't get more hillbilly Appalachian than West we fucking Virginia. We played this venue. Yes, that's and why we, were we like, found man, it. we've got to come back. Right. And it was, dog, it was insane. So that's where you're going to be able to get your fourth coin from. Now, at that show. And you'll be able to fuck your sister and nobody will think twice about it there. At that show, you'll, or your not, cousin, only your will, choice. not only will you be able to get your coin, your fourth coin. But at that fucking spectacular shindig, you will be able to pick up the long-awaited, oh yeah, I much forgot about anticipated, that. fucking paid. That's right, I forgot. Bloody brothers. Yes. yes. How I forgot that? I have no fucking clue. But yeah, and also there will be fucking hillbilly wrestling going down earlier in the day. <laughs> yes, right. It's outside. Come so on to the ring. ring. You'll see the ring with the saggy ropes. Right. You come early, you, you might see the horn swag on Hillbilly make a return. Who knows? All the wrestlers Probably will be not, rednecks. But... Yes. And, and me and Shaggy will be on stage dressed as rednecks. And hopefully you'll be a redneck too. And we can all let the sun bake on our necks till they're crispy red. Then, the fifth and final Ultra Live Monster 5 show. Holy fuck, man. This one right here is like, yo, I, words don't describe it. But we're just, we just called it the fucking Juggalo Island Show. Perhaps we'll give you one second just to let your mind spin and speculate. You know what I'm saying? 
But as it stands right now, you didn't guess it. We're talking about fucking Jamaica. You know no, what I'm no, the Bahamas. Bahamas, my bad. Same thing. They're all in the same area. <laughs> same identical thing, fucking two islands away. Down there in the fucking tropical Caribbean on a fucking island with palm trees and sand and clear water with fucking jellyfishes. And we're trying to organize so that uh, uh, at a discount price. Jamaica's not in the Bahamas? Where's Where Billy? It's in the Bahamas, I believe. Right? <laughs> Billy? I don't know. Reg yes, it is. I was correct. In Jamaica, motherfucker. Really? It's Jamaica? Yeah, it's, it's it Bahamas. It's Jamaica's in Bahamas. Oh, he don't know. It, uh, Jamaica is it? Is it Bahamas? Or I'm Jamaica? only getting thumbs up for three different questions. I don't know. All right, all the information's wrong, but somewhere down there in the Bahamas and the Caribbean. Come on, we don't know where the fuck it's at. Bahamas. <laughs> it's Bahamas. the Bahamas. Right. Is, the, is Jamaica in the Bahamas? The Bahamas no idea. Okay, so the Bahamas it's is on the beach. <laughs> it's at a venue on the beach right. in the Bahamas. The, and not to be mistaken with Jamaica, which is not the Bahamas. I'm being told. And we're trying to organize. <laughs> A fresh boat that will take the from jungles Miami. at a discount price. Right. From Miami, from Miami to the Bahamas. To fucking all you got to do is Bahamas. get to the Miami, and then we'll all get on the fucking right. Ricky Party Dance all boat. the fucking way there. Rudy will row, and we will get to the Bahamas. Now, getting back, you better fucking grab anything that floats and get your fucking kicking feet ready, because we're not returning you, and all the airports are shut down <laughs> down to COVID-19 and earthquakes. So grab you a piece of foam, the seat from a fucking airplane. Whatever you can find, hitch a ride on a ship on a fucking... Fishing boat, that's your fucking way to get back to Miami, then back safely to your own house. But you'll be returning back to your house with that dope ass fifth fucking Unless coin. it weighs your pockets down and you drown. <laughs> right. And then it'll just sink down with the rest of the pirate treasure around there. And then, I, I fuck, dog. The, the shit you get for that is, is fucking insane. You know what I'm saying? You we take all five of the coins. All, all five, yes. All five of the coins. After after all the events, and you take all five coins. And these ain't no cheap, shitty coins. No. Th that's, these are high quality. Right. These are real motherfucking mint, Franklin Mint press. As thick as a nickel. Word up. Franklin <laughs> Mint, we turned them down because they were too weak. Franklin Mint. No, you know it's thicker saying? than a nickel, man. It's as thick as a pickle. Thick a nickel. It's, it's pretty fucking thick. But you take them all to the to the next gathering after, after those five events, you know what I'm saying? So you take them to the gathering that will proceed those five events, and what do you get? You get your Ultra Live Monster Juggalo Pass, which is good for many, many fucking Which will things. put you on another level, because you will have done it. Right. You will have attended all five on different sides of the globe. Would you like all to know those concerts. what kind of benefits come with that? Sweet ones. Oh, yeah, very sweet ones. You get 25% off merchandise at every single annual event we throw. You throw about 20 of those a fucking That's year. That's wicked. That's fucking Juggle of the Weekend. The Gathering. The Gathering. Fucking Big, big ballers. ballers. Fucking, uh, you said Hollow Wicked. Fucking, what else? Fuck. The other ones. Yeah, all the other ones that we're forgetting. Fucking, you get 25% off all the fucking merchandise of all of those. You get in 10 minutes before doors at all the same events. You know, say every annual event. You get event, to get in fucking you get in early. early. So you can line up right there and use that 25% before anybody touches anything else in that merch fucking line or whatever. Uh, you get a fast pass. You don't got to wait in line for any annual events. So not only are you getting 10 minutes early, you ain't got to wait in the fucking line. So you can go out there and party all day with the rest of the Juggalos 10 minutes before the event. Peace! I'm going to fuck in. You know what I'm saying? And you get in there all early. Don't have to wait no fucking lines, no shit You're like that. You're treated like a very important penis. Well, we'll yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and call it a VIP. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what you are, a very important penis. Uh, then we're led up to one song early. You get up one song early for Fago Armageddon. See, we bring everybody out. When Bang Pow Boom starts, the last song we do. No, no, no. Not you'll already you. be out there. You're already a band out there, so you're not at the edge of the stage when it gets super overran. You had already had one song deep in that bitch before everybody else that comes for the VIP package gets to go out there. You're ultra VI, you're ultra live VIP. You know what I'm saying? So you get to go up there a whole fucking song earlier. You know how many fucking Fago tutors you could dump in one fucking song? Quite a few. Holy shit bags. I'll tell you what, a lot. Fucking lot. But all that shit, but only if you go to all these events and you pick up all five fucking coins, all Ultra Live Monster 5 coins, that's the only way to get your fucking beneficial fucking pass for all these annual events. Like we say, you get 25% off, get out, get it 10 minutes early, the fucking fast pass, no lines, and get up fucking spray Fago one song early. Shit. Will I'm, anybody be able to do it? That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's like no skin off our backs because, fuck, we're thinking, how fucking live can we get some I juggles, know we'll be you know there. Oh, we'll be there regardless, yes. Jump steady, will they make it? How many will make it? How many, how many will, will receive that pass? To all five of those shows? And the gathering. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you want me to put a number on it? I would uh, say. Guess, guess. 
I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go ahead and say 1250. 1250 people? Yes. The venues don't even hold that many. Oh, what are you talking about? Albuquerque only holds a thousand. So oh, it's St. Andrews. Shit, that's right. All right, a thousand. And St. Andrews only holds a thousand. I, I'm a uh, thousand. I'm guessing. I'm guessing 112. I, I, only I, I, only 112 guess. ninjas are gonna make it to all five. Yep, that's it. I, I'm gonna guess oh, no, 150. Okay, so you think it's gonna be that small? Yeah. Okay. That's hard to get to the Bahamas. Dog, hit it, dog. Hell, it, dog. Right. That, this is a lot of shit, you know. But th- there goes the benefit now, though. These aren't all taking place one weekend after the next. You know what I'm saying? There'll be ample time. Yeah, you'll, they're going to take place a good month, month and a half yeah, apart. And, and you'll, you'll know we, when it's coming. We're not just going to we, drop it on you the weekend before. We were t- weren't we talking about when we were going to add shows, though? If like if, if one show solds out, we might add another one just so there's... We'll cross shows. that bridge when we, we get to we it. We talked about it, but no. Yeah. Remember, people yeah. get mad. Yeah, people because get mad. they traveled they to get it now. They could just took their time. And right. now suddenly, right. you got, you know... And then the next show don't sell out. Yeah, you know, that's all crazy. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I mean, yo, the motherfuckers that do do it, yo, you you you're deserve the them. Better you're the shit. You're the Word up. Whatever. It, it, it's, you, you this this kind of our, our way because we know a lot of fucking juggalos go to a lot of all of our shit. You know what I'm saying? You always we know like we somehow we personally know some of them because they've been to so many of our events and they go to fucking everything we do. So this is our way of being like, yo, let's we got a we, challenge for you. Exactly. Let's let's see how fucking live you are. You know what I'm saying? Are you ultra live? Are you ultra monster live? You know what I'm saying? Let, let, let's see what's up, you know? The bottom line is this, Juggles. We got more news to tell you. But before we go to a commercial break, let us say this. We have thoroughly accepted our role in entertaining the Juggalo world. That's what our role is here at Psychopathic Records. We are officially here to entertain these incredible, bombastic people. It, it, somehow the responsibility has fallen upon the hatchet man to entertain and create fun and excitement for the Juggalos through our entertainment. And that's what we're trying to do in new ways, new ways we've never done it before. Will it flop? Perhaps. Will it be off the hook? Perhaps. But in my opinion... Will it be new? Even if you scored three of those coins, you're the fucking You're a fucking G. Fuck yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all about making memories, man. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to take you to the fucking Ozark Mountains. You would never be up there unless you came up there to get your redneck dance on with us. receive your sweet-ass coin to get all them benefits. I feel like you guys might be underestimating how many ninjas are Okay, we're already past that. I'm just saying, (laughs) because when you look at it, like, the the ninjas that come out to the gathering, they're like, you know, the die-hard ninjas. You know what I'm saying? They come out to the gathering, travel, go to the gathering every year. I, and I kind of look at this as like another, like almost like a gathering type event. So I, I, I think the true number might be like in between mine and what you guys. Man, are a lot of people are gonna want to be there. Hopefully, but yeah. I mean, the I, ones I, that can do it. I that's hope expensive right. traveling. I'm right, not undershooting to be a dick. I'm just, I just, you know, saying. I just think, like, you, you know, saying some people happen. just physically can't make it to all this stuff, even in that position. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. Really, what we're trying to do is just, it's sort of like a scavenger hunt. You know what I'm saying? Only the creme of the creme get the benefit. Go get those right, coins, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. Go get those coins. We didn't make it. We didn't give you this this benefit. Right. We didn't Have make it easy card, on purpose. Flash that card, you're like an elite juggler. Oh, right. You know? We right. didn't make so, it easy on purpose. You something know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, yeah. We'll be right back after we uh, take Let's this quick us. break. We're back. And we're back. Here's the deal. We realized, we came back early because we realized that we're running out of time and we have more flavor to tell you about. So, let us jump right to the fucking shit because we got more news off the list to reveal. More? We would have lived down to the shit that you really, really, really will give up. We had to leave some pretty fucking heavy shit off. No doubt, 100%. But that's not to say that fucking very soon all this shit's not going to be revealed anyhow. We had to leave some really heavy shit off and it brings a tear to my fucking... Bloodshot eyeball. Oh, shit. I'm not plugged in. God damn it. Over here talking. Son of a bitch. All right. So check it out. We had to, we had to come back a little early. And we're ah. going to go ahead and uh, Son of a bitch. bless you with some um, the rest of this news. Because um, we're running out of time, people. So we had to hook you up. First of all, I want to say, if you own telephone technology, if you own a phone, perhaps, or you live near a payphone, go ahead and text... Juggalo 
4747 and send it in. Do it right now. Go to your phone and text Juggalo 4747. Well, before you do it, do we charge for that? The standards rates apply? No, that is free. And ah, it's free? You're, actually, you're texting the word Juggalo to the number 4747. Oh, you're texting the word Juggalo. Yes. You're texting the word Juggalo to the number 4747. Right. This is free. Right. Text the word so you Juggalo. Go, you go to your text option. You fucking type in Juggalo and you send it to 4747. That's right. I'm glad you figured that out. <laughs> right. What happened? No, no, that, that wasn't me explaining it. That was me trying to figure it out. When you text. Whoa, it works on that fucking old know, ass technology. It don't work on that old ass phone. It um, don't work on the, this phone? That's too tired. Hey. That phone is begging to be put hot, away. That works without the cord. When you cut the cord off of that, it still works. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Where's the receiver? So for? I can't use a flip phone. It don't work. Probably not. <laughs> no, you can't Man, use a flip phone for anything, just, though. Man, he just, just, just lost me on that one. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well. Text the word Juggalo to four seven four seven, and you will receive texts directly from us to you. Yeah. New form of technology springing up at you. It's, it's a new. It's fucking platform. Free. Right. And it's free. You know what I'm saying? So check it out. It's fucking free. What more do you want? Text. The word Juggalo 4747 right now, and you will get personal messages from me, from Jump Steady, from Shaggy Tudo, and not from Rudy. Slew of Rudy other will just call you at home and wake you up. Right. He'll probably be outside your window looking in at stalking you anyhow. So <laughs> right. Now, we're gonna have to skip some major shit here. <clears throat> major shit. Now we want to talk about something we think is very grand. And very epic. We've only got two more things now that we've skipped three pages. We've only got two more things to tell you about. Yes. But these are very grand, huge things. Okay? We want to talk about... I can't believe we're about to reveal this after all the planning, God, scrutiny, crazy, right? and scriptualizing. Yeah, it's, 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 it's just the fact that this is about to come out of our fucking mouths after all the fucking... Plan I mean, it's dope. You know what I'm saying? I'm geeked. Geek, geek, geeked. We want to tell you about... The Clown Head 13. Again, the Clown Head 13. What the fuck is that, you want to know? <laughs> All right, good night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank good you night, very much. <laughs> Our, we'll time is up. Our time is up. We got to we'll go. We'll see you on Wednesday for home movies. <laughs> <laughs> the Clown Head 13 are a series of 13 individual paintings. Paintings. Are you a fan of art? Are you a fan of wicked decor? No? Well, fuck you. Get to be, get some decor in your life because coming soon is the Clown Head 13. 13 paintings, okay, of clowns. 13 different clowns. Who's doing the painting, you ask? Myself, my artistic drawing skills, and Shaggy Too Dope and his great Grand artistic, but now here goes skills. here goes a twist and the hook with it. Now, Violent J will be coming. Well, it'll be envisioning given to him the image of a clown. He'll put it down on a canvas. I will then take the painting and colorize it with my brush stroke artisticness. Jump steady will be coming up with the the fucking actual. I understand that, but it'll be your interpretation yes. of the verbal mysticism. That's right. And then it'll then go to me, and I'll color the thing in, shade it sweetly and awesomely. Then he'll come with another one. I'll come up with a design that, he, that out of his mouth to my brain, out of my hand, onto the fucking canvas. I will then paint another one. I'll then pass it to Von and Jay. He'll dip his fucking paintbrush into a, a fucking whole host of and different colors. And I will colors. color it splendidly. And he will do his version of coloring that head, vice versa, so on and so forth, to all 13 are finished. Now, these 13 paintings are not just paintings, you see, Juggalos. What you must understand is these are real creatures, living beings that hang on your wall. Okay? Each one has a personality. Each one has certain things, certain way, there's certain ways and techniques to taking care of each one. They're each different. Each clown head is completely different from the rest. 
on the back of your clown head painting. You will find attached to the rear of your clown head painting. Your, your clown head painting will come framed in a rather cheap frame. On the flip side of your painting, you will find a satchel of dirt. This dirt is taken from the ground, from the grounds of Picker Forest itself. You might be asking yourself, what the fuck is Picker Forest? I'll tell you. For every juggalo out there worldwide who believes there is true magic in the juggalo music, there is true magic to the juggalo world. For every juggalo out there that believes there is more going on to this juggalo world than just regular shit, there's some sort of supernatural energy taking place to all of this. If there is such a thing, if there is supernatural energy to this dark carnival, then it was spawned from Picker Forest. It was found, it was directly from Picker Forest. And, 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 and jump steady if you'll explain. The magic of Picker Forest. Yeah, how, how, how did Picker Forest lead to this? To the clown paintings? Yeah. To the to the what, the reason you're putting the dirt behind the clown painting. Yeah. Why? What? What is the link between Picker Forest and the Dark Carnival? Well, the the <clears throat> Picker Forest is basically like it it, it kind of infused, if you will, like the supernatural and the magical elements into our lives, like when we were kids, you know, like going there. It was like the beginning of realizing that there was a world beyond the world that we know. Like, there's definitely a supernatural other world that's just like ours, you know what I mean? But but different in so many ways, you know? But and so, instead of letting it scare us away. Yeah, now we were fascinated by it. We were, like, drawn to it. Like We you know, told it, let us be down with you. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. we, we, it, we invited it into our lives. Yeah, we recognized there was something in these this small patch of woods that we discovered as kids. Right? It's just a small... Right. Well, well... It wasn't back then, it is now. It was still, it's still relatively small. There's no forest in Michigan like that, not where we lived. It was still a relatively small patch of woods, even right. back in you're the not, day. Okay. You're not going to fucking get lost for days in that forest. No, no, no. With no, no signs no, of fucking no. civilization. But there was because... something magic in there. Yeah, oh, 100%, yeah. And, and when we went there time and time as kids, we fucking recognized it immediately. Mm -hmm. And we asked it to be in our lives, to accept us. And we think because we didn't just run away from it, but because we asked it to be in our lives, we think it did just that. And, you know, Rob and I, when we were really young, um, maybe even before we knew Joey, we fucking took your wood burning set, remember? Yeah, we, yeah, we put the signs up everywhere. You got the wood burning set for Christmas? Yeah. yeah. And we, we wrote Picker Forest on it with on the planks of wood. Right. And we nailed them to the trees. All the way around Picker Forest. It's called Picker Forest because it was surrounded by thick picker bushes all the way around it. You could not enter Picker Forest without going through a wall of picker bushes. Isn't it? Uh, don't people locally call it Picker Forest? We think now? so, yeah. Yeah, because I've heard that before. And just, you know, people I don't even know call it Picker Forest. But then again, why wouldn't they? Totally, all the signs that were up to say Picker Forest. I know, Forest. that's what I'm saying. We totally named it ourselves, you know what I mean? So, but, uh, I mean, all that being said, you know what I'm saying? All that, all that fucking... All that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The, the uh, fucking unearthly, or fucking uh, mystical fucking, mm. I'm looking for a certain word, but I'm a fucking half a dumbass. But all that fucking flavor will be entrapped in that fucking soil from that That's fucking right. the magic of place. And bigger forest on the back of your painting is in that dirt. Is, we believe is if there is magic to the dark carnival, it is in that dirt. Yeah, because right? therefore, you know what else? Uh, Picker Forest was an escape for us. You know what I mean? Right. It gave us great. It was like, which the dark carnival during the how during many... the worst times of our lives. Right. During the you know when we had monsters in our own lives, like we could go there and escape every day. And not only did it allow us yeah. to escape, yeah. but throughout a tragic childhood, it allowed us to actually have an awesome childhood sure, yeah. instead of a tragic one, which is what we easily would have had without it. Yeah. Think about that. Okay. It gave us an awesome childhood despite tragedy. Right. But to reiterate, 
So mm. all that flavor is packed up into one package and on the fucking clown head paintings. It's on the back of each of the 13 you know clown head paintings. Each of the 13 clown head paintings also feature within the paint. Yeah, this is real shit. This now hold on, shit. because you, you haven't even really like said what, what it really is. We're taking the, the original painting that will have a drop of each of our blood in it. Not a drop, a lot. But I'm saying, but we're but, gonna bleed out. I right, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna flip each other upside down by our, our legs and just cut each other's throats and just <laughs> we're gonna bleed out into a five gallon bucket and just our blood, on our DNA will actually be in the paint. Now, now here goes the thing though. There will be 999 copies of that painted made painting made. So. You can get a copy of it, but there's only one original that has the blood in it. And there's only 999 copies available. If, right. if you don't have one of those, and there's a way more number, a, a lot more juggles, okay? If you don't, in each one of the copies, all 999, this is what they come with. They come with the bag of dirt from Picker Forest on the back. They come each with... Each one of the copies... Huh? Each one yes, of the copies. Yes, each one of the copies. Yes. All right, each, each month, every month, starting with the debut month, the first time the clown heads arrive, okay, which will be in 2021, the first clown head arrives, right? How big are the bags? <laughs> the bag, the little They're baggies. like a sandwich bag. Yeah. Rudy. A whole sandwich bag full? I like one of those little drug bags. Rudy, get, <laughs> you your, get your shovel. Get your shovel, man. And rent your pickup wins. truck from Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll show, um, you, I'll show you where Picker Forest is. The pictures will be Get about... Get shovel ready. You know, how big is this? It's like poster size? Poster size, right? Yeah. And it comes in a frame. The dirt on the back of it. It also comes with a certificate of authenticity, right? It's true. It also comes with a uh, brochure telling you how to take care of that specific clown head, okay? Because if you piss the clown head off, if you throw it in the cellar or you throw it in the attic and you forget about it, the clown head will make your home an unhappy one. And you don't want to do that. Not trying to scare you away, but if your panties crawl into a bunch easily, don't get a clown head. Yeah, and if you do get one and your panties are known for crawling in your butthole, just have, your, have a talk with your butthole. You know what I'm saying? Just let it know before you order the painting that... Your butthole will be the resting place for your underwear for several weeks to come. So each CD, let me let me be clear about this. Now, how, hold on. How did we get the original clown painting? What's we'll that? talk about that in yeah. a minute. Quit okay. jumping the gun. Yeah, jump steady. I just, Always jump steady. I'm going to call you jump steady. You steady. I Always call you jumping the conclusions. Know. Always okay. steady jumping the gun. Uh, and look, jumping the conclusions. And there'll be 13 <laughs> different clown head paintings. Each painting is painted by both Shaggy Two Dope and Violent J themselves. Only 999 of oh, each painting that. will be printed. And this is not like a cheap poster, like a ran off poster. This so is real, like, a, like a duplicate of an actual painting where you can feel the paint grooves yeah, it's a, it's a in canvas. the paper. It's a canvas. It's a canvas. Yeah, it's not a fucking poster. It's not even canvas. a print. That's not even a way to put it. It's well, yeah, a canvas. it is a print, but it's a canvas print. You'll get a. It's not no cheap ass fucking flyer. Right, it's not a fucking paper poster. It's a canvas. Yes. Okay. Um, every month. A new clown head will come out. Once the first one comes out, they'll start coming out rapidly, all right? Every month. Each one comes with a brochure about that clown head, its personality, what it's like, what its name is, its backstory, all of that, right? E each one comes with a certificate of authenticity. Each one comes with a CD, a single from Insane Clown Posse about that clown head. So... I can't even imagine. Let's say the clown head's called... At the end of all 13, that's a full fucking record. It is. Let's say your clown head's called Fruity Dan. <laughs> <laughs> that's then ICB I'm will do a song called Fruity Dan, dedicated to that, about that clown head, and you will get one of 999 CDs, and each of these clown heads will be numbered. There will only be 999, because the 1,000, the 1,000 is the actual painting itself. Right, the original boy. The original boy. Okay, um, each one will be framed in a cheap frame. Each one comes with a bag of soil from Picker Forest attached to the back. Each original, the original, the original, the actual original painting will be available 
at a later date to be determined then how. Yes. And each one is cursed. Each one of the 999 is, yes. Yes. so to speak. Yeah. No, it's not no, cursed. It's that, That's a bad word. Bad. Was Picker Forest curse? It, each yes. one, here we go, here we go. It was, it was each one, each was one, Each one is enchanted. Okay. There you go. That's that's right. Yes. That's right. But it depending could, on you, it could be bad. It yeah, could be a curse for you. Your if you're bad, <laughs> yeah. It's bad yeah. upon your actions with that painting. Right. You know, say if you treat it like a bitch, you, bad times are coming your way. The clown head paintings are going to be something unbelievable for collectors because this is an authentic print of the original, one of 999. It, there's way more than 999 juggalos out there yeah. seeking. They're going to be seeking these things because not only do you get a CD with it, a collector CD, yeah. you get the fucking each uh, one is signed, each one is numbered. You yeah. get dirt with They're it. crazy. Uh, I feel like our, you know, our intention though is definitely to imbue it with the magic. You this know is I mean? for the brain, like, like, man. Like, this is for the believers. For lack of right. a better term, yes. magic. Yes, this is know. for the believers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There are spirits it's that almost like buying us. A, this is almost like buying a spell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you where this comes from. We believe there are spirits that surround us. This is our interpretation of those spirits. Right. We're gonna draw each one. We're gonna try to just. We're gonna try you know, to decipher you know, what when, what we see you, it, hear from it. When you when you when you describe like your inspiration for the Joker's cards, you know, you, you describe that like tapping in to that you know and that's kind of like this it's not the same but similar you're tapping it like yeah, we're all tapping into tapping something in, unknown yeah to something to create yes. this you know the yeah this. It's, just, it's not facts this is our take yeah on something we think is flying around in the sky yeah. don't, you, don't you feel when somebody's watching you yes i feel like i'm being watched right now because i'm staring <laughs> at you <laughs> You got a thousand people watching you, probably. Oh, shit, yeah. Can't you feel can. like when some, like when you know, that's what's going on. You like know, I believe there's some sort of supernatural in the dark realm. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, you know it's is. crazy that fucking Rob was just now talking about. He's like, so you can tap into it like a Joker's card. So isn't that a crazy segue oh, or what? Oh shit! Because man, oh man, shit has been tapped. I, I just want to yes. stress the clowns are really some. Brand new shit. It does. It's We're very excited about it. Doug, so geeked about it. So Instead fucking... of a creative art going into a album, the creative art is going into a painting. You know what but I'm saying? But also an album. Huh? But also an album at the same time. Yeah, there, there is 13. Oh, yeah, and check this out. When all 13 come out, after all 13 clown heads have come out in, in 13 months, right, mm -hmm. there will be a coffee table book just like this. Uh, right about this size. Yo, yeah. it's going perfectly on your head where the fucking monitor thing was at. So you look just like, like this. That's a guy. clown head right there. <laughs> <laughs> just like the this, right? Clown. It should be about this size, right? This will feat. This coffee table book will feature all thirteen paintings, full page, so you can look at them all, and the the pamphlets, all thirteen pamphlets, to so be able to read about all thirteen of these clown heads, right? And it will be stacked with photos and the making of the clown heads. In other words, you'll see photos of me and Shaggy painting them. You'll see photos of Rudy scooping the dirt up <laughs> and walking back Lots to the office. Of dirt. Yes. Do a trash bag. And for some a wheelbarrow reason, full of dirt. For some walking reason, down he's got to walk miles. all the way back to the <laughs> office with it. For right. some reason, he has to walk. He has, has to put in that fucking work. You can't disturb the dirt. You no. Know right. what I mean? You can't put it in a car vehicle. You cannot just it transport is, it by vehicle. I, you know, you can't do it. It, it might dilute it. You, you know? need so sweat and labor to transport it. You can walk it back to the office. I think But this the, coffee table book will come out about the 13 clown heads. It'll show you them all and, and, and you know, then what, what are we left with? We're left with 13 original paintings. What do we do with them? We'll wait and see. Right. Maybe it'll be a contest at the gathering. You know, who knows? Maybe they'll have to be locked up in a fucking cabinet like that fucking scary movie with all the rel relics fucking locked up in cabinets and it shit. It don't matter because your, who print, knows? your print is just as fucking right. cursed, like Rob used likes to say. Yeah, because uh, like, like when I'm thinking about these clown heads, like the creative side of it, I'm just letting you know I'm, ta I'm tapping into some dark forces if you will that's because you're dark, looking at this face dark energy <laughs> if you will 
for inspiration. You're looking at this, dude. That's why. Yeah. Can we get a close up on that? Because if I if I'd have known, <laughs> there's no way they're that's getting close. No close. Getting, any guys. way to get a close up? Yeah, one? here. Let me see it. I'll, yeah, you fuck, can hold it up to the camera. Cheap. Here, you can hold it up to the camera. I'll get a close up of it. Can you get a close up on it? Here, here goes a very close up of it. Hold on, wrong way. Closer, closer, closer. No, you're not close enough. It's fucking hard to do. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to fucking stop uh, turning it. I'm motherfucker. There you, you go. Do it. Get up and come do it. <laughs> that close up sucked, man. <laughs> the close up sucked. <laughs> well, here, okay. you come get it and you fucking do it. <laughs> all right. Answer to Sabu. Never mind. They can't even see you. They're all far away. All right. <laughs> all right. So that's what's up. The clown head paintings are on their way. Look for the first one. When? I thought you knew. January. Wow. That soon? Yes. That soon. 2021. What a year that's going to be. Yes, sir. All right. The final piece of news. Woo! Doozy time. Doozy time. Oh, my God. The fifth Joker's I got, card. I got a dry mouth right now. Of deck two. Would you like the name? Fuck, how, what? Just we don't even got a drum roll. I'm about to say no drum roll, no man. like grandiose yeah. fucking reveal. It's a, it's a work in progress. <sighs> There's a fucking Why? Host Look at crickets. all the people next door. <laughs> it's like seven people over there. We got 19 cameras in this bitch. You right, can't look, get a fucking drum the roll? Next time, the next time we do it, the, the show, we'll definitely have Oh, the some... next time we reveal a Joker's card, we'll have a drum roll ready. <laughs> That's right. right we'll, we'll no, I'm that. just saying. Next time we'll have some <laughs> sound effects ready. Right. Next time, mm -hmm. there's, next time we, we drop news as big as the next Joker's card in this month, <laughs> right. because we're all stuck already. inside yeah. because of a pandemic. <laughs> we'll fucking do it. Right. right. Just try to imagine in your mind. Just try to imagine it, right, real quick. <laughs> okay. All right. The fifth Joker's card Bam. of deck two. Bam. Right. Yeah. Oh, all right. Now remember. You already told that the name was dropped by eyes over here on <laughs> uh, uh, fucking uh, on uh, Fred Fury. So you've heard the name before. You just didn't know it. That's right. You heard the name, in fact. You heard the name, I believe, eight times on the Fearless Fred Fury album. Yes. Eight times. Magnifies. <laughs> and on all the people that guessed, I can't believe nobody got it. Like I'm stunned. Well, I mean that that they would have to. Out of everything everywhere. I read, yeah. nobody got it. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, I would have guessed. There's literally got only it. one word that's repeated eight times on on Fearless Fred Fury. <laughs> yeah. And it's probably all looking, in the same. I was song. gonna say they're probably looking for it all across the record, though. You know. Right. What I'm and yeah. nobody said that. They yeah, said yeah. it's eight uh, times. Right. Right. Man, we read some of the dumbest guesses I ever heard <laughs> in my life. Is it the? Yeah. <laughs> the name of the album. Okay, you want to say it on the count of three? <laughs> we can't fuck it up, though. How are you going to fuck uh, that up? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 That cadence? Uh, 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 uh. One, two, three. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> you want to do it? Do it. Yeah. We're going to go one, two, three. All right. You ready? Uh, uh, uh. All, right. All right. You ready? Yes. One, two, three. Yum, yum, bedlam. Yeah! Okay, yeah. All right. Woo! Face and out of tag, he's at the same time. Yep. Like double nuts busting. So it's, a, it's so fucking official now. It's ridiculous. It's yum no yum back, no bedlam. Nothing. Okay. Yum what yum the bedlam. fuck is yum yum bedlam? Perhaps you've heard that in a song before. I, this is gonna be so controversial right here. Ready? Oh, I know. We're no. about to shake the fucking planet. Of ju the jungle yeah. world is about to shake with controversy. This Joker's card, yum yum bedlam, is that's the name of the Joker's card, but the actual, I mean, that's the name of the album. But the actual name of the Joker's card is different. That's the first time it's ever done like that. The name of the Joker's card is different than the name of the album. The name of the album is Yum Yum Bedlam because that's what it is. Yum Yum Bedlam. It's Bedlam. It's Yum Yum Bedlam. Why? Because we're talking about, and this is the name of the Joker's card, the Yum Yum Flower. This is the first technically female Joker's card. Oh! Did oh, you that? say female Joker card? I did. <laughs> Holy yum shit! Yum Flower is the name of the fifth Joker's card, deck two. The Yum Yum Flower. What does the Yum Yum Flower represent? Uh, loyalty. 
The yum yum flower represents loyalty. If you do not have loyalty, then you will be venomously bitten. You will be poisoned by the poisonous yum yum flower. All right? Don't, do not smell that flower. Do not touch that flower. That is the tantalizing, delightful, beautiful, but deadly yum yum flower. Do not be tempted by that fucking flower. Have loyalty. Have fucking honor. Do not smell that flower because that flower will poison you dead. It is the yum yum flower, Rob. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. I know. Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, out of all Joker's cards, this is my favorite. No, it's, 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 it's right, so yeah, fucking dope. The way this record is coming yes. out. And, like, and, and you, you know, it, it, it's not just Yum Yum Bedlam coming out, and that's that. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of fucking shit going down in cahoots, if you will, with what Yum Yum Bedlam, a whole fucking host of shit, if you will. And people are like, won't. when's this coming out? 2024? Right, yeah. 2023? No, bitch. Maybe you ain't heard. We've been fucking working on this We've been bitch. working relentlessly. You want to know when this bitch is coming out? Who no, they're coming, coming out in 2021. Yeah. <laughs> it's no. coming out in 2020, motherfucker. Tell him which eggs. Oh, the tag team shot. Tell him, Shags. <laughs> Let me tell you something right now, brother. Now we're coming out in 2020, but it'll be out on Christmas, December 25th, 2020. The never heard before release date. It's not even an official release date. No, nobody releases records on Christmas Day. It's, it's not even an official release date in the music industry. We don't give a fuck. Because music industry isn't in their offices on December 25th. But who gives a fuck? Everything's computer now, right? The album's coming out Christmas Day. Yeah, Merry Christmas. It'll be the merriest Christmas I've had in a long time. What's the matter? I just realized something. Nobody's going to be able to buy it for each other for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, they will. It's all on the fucking computer. You can't buy an advance and stick in somebody's Pre -order, man. stocking. <laughs> Pre-orders. <laughs> You're just now fucking realizing that? Yes, it's a bone. We have to change it. <laughs> <laughs> jokes, jokes. Christmas Day! You give somebody a note in their stocking and say, you get one yum yum bedlam later today. <laughs> there you go. Just listen to me Star Wars through the toys back if in the day. If you come right, down right. in your stockings, okay, and you see the cookie has been bitten and the milk has been drank, and you go over to the tree and you see the presents have been laid upon it, right? And one of those presents is a yum yum flower. Don't smell it. Do not pick that flower, or you will be dead come Christmas afternoon. <laughs> oh, man. Dead. That's right. Dead. Dead. Now, yeah. so let's read the, the points about this bad yes, boy. Yes, yes. There's many fucking points The name about of the album, too. Yum Yum Bedlam. The yes, name sir. of the Joker's card, The Yum Yum Flower. The main album will be released on Christmas Day, December 25th, 2020. Yes, a mere two months from now. Right. The album... Oh, this is where it gets really exciting. The album. Woo! So hard to fucking fathom. Yum Yum Got Homies. That's all I'm saying. Yum Yum Got Homies. The album will be followed up by three. This is never before done. They're going to be like, they're going to be dissing it until they see how it actually works. Right, yeah, yeah. They're going to be dissing it. That's all right, though, because motherfuckers are scared of shit they don't know about. Right. Scares the fucking They're all gonna be dissing. Think about it. what I'm right. about to, what my face is about to spew. It's gonna <laughs> yeah. be dissed heavily. That's all right. right Until they actually that's, see. That's okay. You wanna know why? What it we is. know it's fucking dope. And right. we know once motherfuckers see it in their fucking right in front of their fucking faces, they're gonna know it's dope too. The album, which comes out December 25th, will be followed up by three mini albums. Three mini, what's a mini album? Well, it's like a fat EP. Yes. Three mini albums, three short albums, maybe six songs, maybe seven, with its own intro. Maybe four. We don't know. We haven't decided. Three mini Joker's cards. The spawn. The spawn of the Yum Yum Flower. Oh. <laughs> the petals. Those will be called the seeds of Yum Yum. Oh. Anyway, Three. the first one, the first mini album, the first fat EP, the mini album will be released April 2nd, 
2021, right? So right after you get yum yum in your system, the yum yum flour, the first of the seed, what are, what are the seeds, Rob? Seed is a seed. Uh, what is a seed? Yeah, what what is the spawn of yum yum, the yum yum flour? It's it, technically it's kids. I, I, you, the kids. I feel like I'm back in school again. What are you trying to get at? <laughs> Rob, what is it? <laughs> Look what are you talking? How are you missing this? The the kids, the the seed. You're, you're looking for the kids. The These seed. are the kids of yum yum. Okay, right. The yum yum, the mother, the yum right. yum flower. Okay. Mother nature. The seeds of yum yum. Right. That's what flowers do. They have seeds that come off them and grow more flowers. <laughs> that that was put very scientifically. How it'd be explained to me on the fucking science channel. What this is it? a poisonous orchid. Flowers wow. have seeds on them yes. that turn into the yum yum flower is a fucking lethally poisonous orchid. Okay. Beautiful but lethal. Right. All right. Gotcha. Um. The seeds, first one comes out April 2nd, 2021. The second mini album, Fat EP, if you will, comes out July 30th, 2021. The third mini album comes out October 29th, 2021. Sweet. Why are we schooling Rob? I know. I'm just, I'm just, Look here, motherfucker. Fuck he's over there being Mr. Negative. Yeah, he, just, yeah he's, 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 uh, all, shit, he's a I'm, non-believer I'm crazy positive on all We got some shit. non-believers in the crowd We got to deal with the Sheik. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> we got to deal with fucking Sabu and the Sheik. All right. Each of the mini albums... Okay, check this out. The three mini albums, EPs, will be released after all three have come. The Seeds of the Lotus, after all three EPs have come out, they will be released as one full-length album. The name of that album will be The Seeds of Yum Yum, right? So all the music on the three EPs will go on one CD, right? If you want it. Or you just bump the three EPs. But if you want them all on one CD, you can get it. And it's called The Seeds of Yum Yum. That comes out November 19th, 2021. And that album will feature not just the songs off the Yum Yum record. I mean, off the off the uh, off the seeds, off the three EPs, but it will also feature three bonus tracks. What you know about that? Oh, jump steady. Shit, you guys. Yeah, know. that's more guys, incentive to buy the album because there's three more tracks. Well, on top right. of that, we're just fucking from the end of this year all the way to fucking the end of next year, dropping fucking cluster bombs Straight all fucking over <laughs> right. the world's right. face. Right. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers thought we were sleeping. Right. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers <laughs> thought we were sleeping. Nah, we were just fucking bubbling underground waiting to fucking explode like nah. the old faithful. You ask yourself, why would I buy the three EPs? Why do I want the three EPs? Yeah, why wouldn't I just get the album? Exactly. Aside from getting it months <laughs> like, yeah, that's reasonable. Well, you get it early. Yeah, you get it early. Aside from getting it early, okay, right? Yeah. Each of the three mini albums, the EPs, the fat EPs, remember I was telling you? Yeah. Will feature a song that is not, will not be included on the Seeds of Yum Yum album. Aha! Oh, okay. So there's a Come song together. on each EP that won't be on the main album. Right. And there's three songs on the main album that won't be on the EP. Shit, I needed a diagram for all this right now. You need them all. <laughs> you need everything to have the whole collection of the yum yum flower. <laughs> that's right, okay. That's, that's very pretty simple. fucking epic. Really? It's, it's very really simple. simple. <laughs> that's pretty all fucking right. epic. We did it. Yes. We did it. <laughs> all right, so um, yum yum bedlam and yes. seeds of yum yum. Beautiful. When, when there will you go, yep. When will we be able to like take right on a sneak peek? You already the, got one. At the image. The oh, fucking image. single comes out next week. Oh, Halloween Wicked. The yes. image will be seen on Halloween Wicked. Okay. During the Halloween Wicked show. Oh, shit. In the living room. In the living room. Yes, we're touring my house. Projected on a wall? What are we talking we're about? We're touring my house. You don't know. It may be a naked <laughs> man, honey, with the, <laughs> with the, the image painted on his butt. <laughs> right, but it will be in there somewhere. Yes. All right. It may be Rudy naked running with the <laughs> image on his butt. Probably. He's already got it on his butt, ready to go. <laughs> so, people, you haven't seen the Yum Yum flower? You haven't seen the seeds of Yum Yum? Just know that this is the dark carnival has spoken, and we have reacted. And it's a beautiful thing, because the 
Yum Yum Flower is a poison orchid tempting you. Should your loyalty be weak, you will pick the flower and you will die. Should your loyalty be strong, you will even resist smelling the flower and you'll keep walking the fuck home and be safe and sound. All right, how's your loyalty? Look into yourself. Is it strong or are you dead? We'll see when a yum yum flower appears in your garden. Is it strong or is it wrong? Ah! <laughs> 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 ah! <laughs> yeah! All That's right. it, we're out of here. Yeah, we'll see music. you guys fucking two days from now to enjoy some home movies, correct? We got some yeah. dumb shit coming, woo! Yeah. Enjoy our fucking yeah. dumbass old school home movies with us doing a fucking dumbass commentary over it in just two fucking days, Wednesday. If you gotta miss one of these broadcasts, miss the home movie one. Don't miss that, it's funny. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> no, my, that's gonna suck. It's gonna be great. Are we still on the air? Yeah. It's gonna be great! <laughs> Turn the fucking shit off. We're done. I, I'm really excited about the clown compound. That's all I got to say. Me too. I'm and, excited about uh, everything, I, man. Uh, obviously, the Joker's card, but the clown compound. I'm excited my about the clown heads. I'm that's excited about the clown compound. Yeah. I'm excited about it. Why are we still on the air? <laughs> I fucking find out. Bye. <laughs>